Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to stream. How's it going? How's it going? Time to hop on. I had I did a little bit of off stream basically. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. I did a little bit of off stream like mining and um, what else? Yeah, off stream mining and off stream just processing of resources. Specifically so I could like actually get some materials to work today. Most in the form of glass and iron. Let's go and check to see if we have any ominous notes anywhere. Oh, hello. You know, I can do the block of iron, that's cool. Block of iron, cut copper, mud? Iron. Ooh, the, oh, these are cool actually. Alright, hold on. Block of iron. Uh, I might have just the cut copper in here. Doom, 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 goody, good, tyrant moments. Of course, of course, it happens, it happens. Uh, I wanted to grab the mud. Alright, ah. iron block, cut copper, mud, deep slate, diamond. Ah. The tough looks pretty good. The tough and the mangrove are good. I have one mangrove. Yeah, myself though, I've been I've been good. Busy but good. Well thank you, sir. I always appreciate your mini blocks. Mostly today, though, I want to work on our... Oh, I have a warp nylium. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted by this. I, I love the mini blocks. I'm probably never going to use most of them, but I just like them. Ooh, like this, the mud bricks here actually work really well, for example. I can just... Oh, there we go. Looks way better. Apparently you cannot place signs on heads. Well, whatever. Yeah, today though I want to work on our industrial district a decent amount. It's a decent amount of work. So the main thing that I need to get at least some work done though on is specifically the, what's it called? The bamboo farm and super smelter setup. It has been a while since I've built a super smelter. I know the vague aspects of how to do it, but when it comes to the actual like, um, how do you say? The loading of the minecart, I don't really remember how to do. Because I know you have to get a certain amount of items basically in at a certain time. And based on the amount of items you then load, you then create a equal stream of things. 
I can mess around with that. I can mess around with it. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of minecart stuff as well. It's a lot of minecart stuff, a lot of hoppers. Hence why we have so much fucking iron. As well as, I mean, I was making a beacon base, but I honestly think that's gonna be less important to gain the shit ton amount of hoppers we're gonna need. Five. You mm. away. Why do I have gunpowder in there? I do need to upgrade the this one. This is iron tier. That's iron tier. Maybe I should make two gold tier backpack upgrades. Okay, two tanks, so I'm getting six glass. Chests. And shit ton of leather. I guess plenty, so we'll be fine. Uh, I think I just need like sixteen gold. Probably just for the best that we upgrade these. Also, it's just backpacks I use to store garbage. <laughs> I don't even use them for anything else. I do want to find out what the pocket sand does, though. Dennis? Hello? Oh, hello. Hey, tell me what this um, does. Nothing. Cool. Love that. <laughs> um, I wanted to come and hand out some samples for my new bakery that I'm opening. Oh. Um, and I have these buns. And they'll give you an effect, the stuffed effect, and it doesn't lower your saturation as long as the effect is in the... Is in oh, very cool. I'll be effect. honest, I was wondering what that did. Yeah. Um... And I don't have any stock right now, but when I do, um, but when I do, we're going to have cakes and cupcakes as well as, as the, oh. The Blood Moon isn't um, good with this many people online. <laughs> um, but yes, so we're going to have cakes, cupcakes, and as well as breads and stuff. Okay, okay. I just wanted to come and give you some samples. Thank you very much. I did see the bakery just yesterday. It is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. I can't take credit. I did use a build tutorial, but I translated it with a bunch of the modded things. It so, looks thank great. You. Thank you. Um, since I'm here, I was wondering, have you seen any Shima Nagas? They're like little white birds. I want them for my bakery, but I don't. I haven't seen any. I don't think I have yet. Okay, because I looked it up and they spawn in snowy biomes. Mm. Um, but I don't think they spawn in the modest snowy biomes. And then the snowy biomes that they, the, the Minecraft snowy biomes are outside the world border. That's what I was wondering. I see, I see. There's not a lot of snowy areas in this place anyway, so mm. that is kind of hard, hard okay. to find. I just wanted to ask and see. Mm. 
Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Mm -hmm. And come by. I'll, I will put it in the Discord whenever it's open. Of course, of course. Bye-bye. Very nice. Let's find out what our epic hat grab bag is. Alright, something. Drop that, drop that. Should we just. I don't know what to do. Let's just throw them in there. Okay, at the very least, I probably want a 64, uh, probably a 64, um, hopper system when it comes to the actual furnace setup. Do I even have eight stacks of cobblestone? I don't think I've thought about that one. <laughs> I don't. I actually don't. I only have like four. How my sniffers doing? Well, they're doing good. Yeah, they actually have like a proper full stock area now, so they can easily uh, actually keep farming. Okay, well, anyway. I shouldn't name those sniffers. Anything else right now? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna need a shit ton of cobblestone. So maybe we should just gather cobblestone for that, yeah. Yeah, I've basically been almost just AFK on the server a lot recently, so just because I do need just a ton of materials. And specifically along the lines, this material smelted. And be so, because I really just don't have that much time to to basically play on a server, I'm trying to set up a proper system where I can effectively just sit here and be AFK easily. Because if it comes down to it, I can always just put myself on the server while I'm at work and then just be AFK at a location. Like that's fine. That's easy. So hopefully I can get to that stage soon. Or at least I can make highly efficient farms. Oops. Anyway, let's make some bread. First and foremost, let's see if I can use this pocket sand with someone. I'm gonna see if I can just punch shrine with it. See what happens, you know? Because right clicking doesn't seem to do anything. Shift right click? I also don't know. I don't know what the pocket sand does. I was hoping it blinded someone. Can we just look it up. Why, why am I just doing it? Let's just look it up. It does a small... Okay, so the, I... Okay. The issue is I didn't have any sand in my inventory. Alright, let's go get that first. Because that's funny. 
I also did just smelt up like all my sand. Could be a good idea to get some more pods as well. Yeah, I know I know we want to make a sewer smelter today though. That's a major part of what I want to get done. Ideally, I also want to make the uh, bamboo farm like functional because I'm going to need to AFK a decent amount just to make sure we have a big enough stockpile of bamboo. So that is going to be a thing. Jesus. Maybe I should maybe I should lower the cap on the bamboo because that's a bit excessive. Oh, this guy. Hello. Hello. Ow. Why did I want to I think she could head. Do you like my pocket sand? That's very <laughs> cool. Val's throwing bricks at me, you're throwing sand at me. Who's gonna throw, um, what is it called? What's that shit you put on the roads? Salt? Salt. I mean, okay. people salt the roads. <laughs> That's they do salt the roads, but I it's, feel I like, feel like it's a atypical. It's not a common occurrence. It is when it snows. Okay. Cement. That's what I was thinking of. Anyway. Who's <laughs> throwing work. cement on the roads? The people who make the roads. <laughs> I feel like we were talking about solids, and that's like a solid within suspension, I guess. Does the sand really count as a solid? Sand is a solid! What do you mean? <laughs> but does it like count as one? Yes! It's a simulated liquid <laughs> when it's vibrating. I'll be Or when it has air pumped through it. So like, you can simulate a liquid <laughs> using something of small particles. Mm hmm But does it count? Yes. Anyway, <laughs> can I help you? I just wanted to throw a pocket sand at you, I'm gonna be honest. That makes sense. I gotta go work on my uh, industrial dish now. Okay, enjoy. Where's your portal? I'm making an organ today. My oh. portal, it's down there, to the right. Nice, left. perfect. You were correct first time. I second guessed myself, but I shouldn't. Trust yourself. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Portal's taking a long ass time. Oh, goblin. Is Okay, the sponges are kind of relevant. The efficiency six is kind of nice, but I don't have an efficiency on book. The yeah, sponges would be nice, but I don't think I need that right now. Oh, there's a maggot. Hello? Thought I saw a nameplate for a second. I do need to give myself more netherite, speaking of. Just being in the nether, I do need more. But I should decorate the back of that portal too. Kind of looks, as kids say, bad. But yeah, we need cobblestone so that way we can make our actual furnaces. He's too fast, I couldn't hit him back. I 
are we fully stocked? Why is that one on? Oh. Never mind, I know why. Okay, what am I doing? Cobblestone. Slowly just gonna hollow out this entire area. Yeah, I'm going to need eight stacks at the very least to make the furnaces, so that's simple. Yeah, super smelters are relatively simple to build, to be honest. It's. They're odd, but they're simple to build. like developments in that tech recently i don't think there would be just like think about it. i don't i wouldn't expect there to be much development in the development of um super smelters because they're relatively simple you just need a hopper minecart to go fast over something so that way you only put in like one item at a time Yeah, ideally though, I... Oh. I'm a hanging out kind of guy. You're a hanging out kind of guy? I am. Wow. I'm trying to make an organ. Yeah? Yeah. I tried to Just make so you know what I'm up to. I tried to make it work in one of those last season. Didn't. Yeah, I was, I was saying to Valk, it would definitely be easier if we had Create. <laughs> I'll be honest, no, it wouldn't. Well, I don't want to make it working. I don't care about that, but the pipes would be nice. I guess. I guess. Hello. Hi, Soup. Hello. Are y'all also hanging out kind of guys? Yeah. If it's one thing I am, it's a hanging out kind of guy. That's my middle name. I'm glad. Bad. Bad. It's a long middle name. <laughs> it's a long middle name. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. This is not how you craft banners, now that I'm looking at this. This video is seven years old. That's why that's not correct. <laughs> this is not how banners work. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'd like to get tea before I join the group. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> how dare you. My, my tea today is once again Earl Grey. And that's it this time. Oh, yeah. I didn't have time because I woke up late. Well, I didn't I wake don't up have late. tea. I just went back to bed. I finished my coffee. <laughs> Real. Uh, I didn't want to get up when I woke up today. I did one of those things where you like you wake up and then you like go back to sleep, mm -hmm. and then you're like so cozy and like deep in your dream, and then like oh. the alarm goes off. To do the orange one first. You know what? I'm not gonna question. Oh, I'm, also, I'm talking to the guy in the YouTube video. <laughs> was it one of you guys that placed the banner for the map with my username on it? Was that it was me. Okay. Um, I I just moved it, but I didn't know who did it, so I didn't know who to tell. But I just That's moved fine. it, so you might have to. You might have to do it again. I already did. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Uh, you're more than welcome to also just, like, actually change the banner. I didn't want to, like, make one that was like, oh, well, this is the one you're using now. Yeah, no. You're I, welcome to do something fun with it. I, I definitely plan. I wonder if I can make it. 
because they have no jellyfish tentacles. I know I have like a Oak. squid design in some in one part of my base that I thought was cool, so I just kind of have that. Hmm. Squid guy. I like squids. They're funny. There's big old squids in the ocean. There is. I haven't killed one yet. I don't actually know what they drop. You can get them in the whales to fight, I think. That makes sense. Sad. It is sad. Nature is beautiful, though. I don't have any dark oak. <laughs> you will suffer now. Mm. I will suffer, but I do have a nature's compass. My bestest friend. Uh, do you just need saplings? Because I do have those. I would also like that. I just kind of need dark oak, so a sapling would be nice. Or four. Or four. Probably four would be better, <laughs> considering I might have some trouble otherwise. Yeah, I can just get you the saplings. I'm coming to your house. Beware. Yeah, I haven't found an actual dark oak forest, but um, the area around my base is a mini dark oak. I don't actually know what this is called. Let's find out. Mediterranean forest. Which has dark oak and spruce mini trees. So that works. A tree is a tree. All that matters is drop dark oak saplings. <laughs> I'm in your house. Hello. Thank you, my boys. Ow. Get pocket sanded. <laughs> I've been attacked. Help. Assault. Is that what you tried to use on me? Yeah, I found out it required- Jesus <laughs> Christ. Sorry, there are creatures at, at me. Don't show me your ass when you do that. Yeah, with the armor and everything on it, it looks not good. I need a stack of furnaces and three stacks of hoppers in the very minimum. I don't even remember what I was saying before, but uh, the creatures have distracted me. how to tell what year it is. Oh? Oh? There he is? Yeah. yeah. I can, you can craft a calendar and it'll just tell you. Oh, wait, I have a calendar. Does it tell me? Maybe. <laughs> so I just never look at it? <laughs> mine just changes colors, but I might have the wrong calendar. It's, yeah, it's also, mine also does just change colors, so. No, no, it is that one. You just have to be holding it. I'll put my cam calendar. Three? 
Three. 270 years? We've been here. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. Hello? Oh yeah, 270 years and 12 days. That's a lot of years. That's a lot of years. We're old as fuck. Wait, do you have to like click on it or something? No, you just hover over it and invent, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> Inventory. Inventory. 270 Inventory. years? How old are you guys now? <laughs> well, you um, see. <laughs> I wasn't counting anyway. <laughs> you see, a year is just so quick because of how fast we go around the sun for days, so you know. This plan would be way. That's a nerd. Just pull the plug. You know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> Let's call it in. <laughs> if it's been 12, how many days is a year? Like 12 in this, probably? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, without seasons, it's a little, little tricky to tell. I did consider yeah. adding a seasons mod. That would be kind of fun. You know, I'm starting to believe this axe is never going to break, and that's kind of concerning me because I really want to get rid of it. You can just stop just using it. it. I could, but I feel like I want to use it all up, you know? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just like stuck alive, so I'm gonna stop using it now. You could also apotheosis break it down, kind of thing. I matter. could do that. I don't think it has any apotheosis on it though, it's just an enchanted diamond egg, so it's not very... Grind it away. <laughs> That's why I wanted to stop using it, it wasn't very good. <laughs> I'm looking at my inventory and I don't know what I'm doing. Me every day of my life, to be honest. Detector rails, that's what I was doing. That's how I feel when I open my desk drawers. That might as well be my inventory. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I am cursed to sometimes just think about my, um, my life in Homestuck terms, just because of how I live my life, which is definitely a mistake. <laughs> how do you think about your life in Homestuck terms? Like, um, <laughs> when thinking of inventory as capture logs instead is definitely <laughs> one of them. Oh. <laughs> as like, what kind of capture log type, subtype would I use for this? Like, what the, what the hell am I saying? Part <laughs> <laughs> of the stuff in my inventory, uh, aka my uh, purse, um, Sometimes I open it and I forget that I have like multiple like a hundred year old coins in there. So I'll be pulling out cash to pay and I just pull out this coin from like 1919 and I'm like why the fuck is this in here? Time traveler ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really getting a time travel like experience. I nearly stuck on like a shilling note in there just to like emphasize the experience after that. Honestly good for you. <laughs> I'm in the hole. I think I just cut down someone's tree. Uh, it didn't drop this. Oopsie. Why is it? Why the fuck is there a waterlogged tree? Wet. I am is like so the entire thing hot waterlogged? Yes. Oh. Every single block is filled with water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody was thirsty. <laughs> Apparently, the tree. What happened if I broke <laughs> one of the blocks? And I don't think I'm gonna find out. I'm just gonna find some spruce trees. Cause I have support beans to make. Oh, wait. this is not how I'm breaking on it. That's why it's so fun. Do I have I'm breaking? I don't. Jesus. That's why. Okay, um... That's why I wasn't using this axe. Grab a little more redstone. Oh, it's been so long since I've done one of these. <laughs> what are you doing? Making That's a timed minecart loader. Oh. Fringe. Oh wait, I need a lectern. Because you need to use comparators a certain way, so the lectern really helps. Hello, sir. Do you sell yeah. lectern? No, you only sell Fortune 3. Do I have shitty books? That's a curse. Okay. That's okay. 
That's three wide. How wide is this? That is two wide. Whoops. If I don't make this three wide, I can just incorporate this. But can I put like stuff on top of it? I can. That's convenient. So, guys, I actually... So, I've been working on my new overlay stuff for my stream, and I'm finally at the point where I'm starting to figure out when my um, re-debut is going to be. Uh-huh. Very exciting. Nice. I'm currently thinking probably early October. Nice. That's so soon. Okay, cool. It's pretty soon, yeah. Very exciting. Maybe. I'll finally be able to actually use my um, my new VTuber model. I'll finally be able to use it. Ugh. Oh, nice. Look how goofy he looks. I'm gonna have to build this as like a three word and then like, excuse me, Val, can you slightly in my way there? Yeah, sure, whatever that works. Okay, I did need a book and quill. I know I have some of those, so I've just been finding them. Okay, perfect. I think it needs 15 pages. Biggest fuck, that's fine. Oh, um. uh, Shrine. There's a new magic set that is coming out. <laughs> Not next weekend, but the kind of the weekend after. Next week is pre release, though. And it is a. It, I think you would actually really like the design of it. It's kind of goofy. Uh -oh. It's specifically along the lines of classic horror movie tropes. Ooh, okay. Also, some just terrifying looking monsters that are really cool. Ooh, okay. How do you like? <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's some really goofy things. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of guys. Anyway, <laughs> I think one of the. This, there are some really just funny cards, like. I think one of the funniest is specifically this. There's this one just really strong enchantment that came out, I think, two years ago now, called the Meat Hook Massacre. And the funniest card I think they have printed in this new set is called the Meat Hook Massacre 2. <laughs> it does <laughs> the exact great. same like thing, basically, <laughs> just twice as much. <laughs> so funny. That's great. <laughs> uh, send me, send me an image later. Yes, yes, yes. I do actually need to look through the whole set as well, because they just, they basically just finished releasing the whole set online. And I need to actually check to see if there are any just like weird things that I need for my decks. Yeah, that's, that's my relationship with Magic these days. I, I uh, take a look at a set whenever it's fully released. I find out which cards need to go in my decks, and then I stop looking at the set. <laughs> that's it. How did he do that? Yeah, some of the other just funny cards though in the set are cards that are like fear of something that are just enchantment creatures that are like avatars of that fear. Mm. Like, I think the ones I'm looking at right now are fear of abduction, fear of immobility, fear of surveillance. There's a lot of just weird ones. I think the funniest though is fear of missing out. <laughs> There's some really goofy cards in this set. It's so funny. Yeah, I'm starting to believe following a seven-year-old tutorial is probably not the best idea, considering redstone does not work that way anymore. And <laughs> also, uh, most objects don't work that way anymore, to be honest. <laughs> what are you? What's actual? What are you trying to do? Make the organ? Yeah. 
Yeah. When, I, when I say redstone, no, God no. When I say redstone, oh. I just mean like the, the rails don't connect that way anymore, apparently. Oh yeah. Okay. I was originally gonna try and like just build like the MOA keyboard into it, but it clips a lot and it looks really goofy. So yeah, it doesn't fair really work. Is there a... I probably use like the same concept. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's so bad. Okay, this looks like a design that I could incorporate the piano into. It's completely different though, so. Disregard previous instructions. It's really useful, right? Default Minecraft needs to get on that shit. That's so. Uh... Chopping down trees is like one of the most annoying things in Minecraft. You have to do like a lot of it. Oh yeah, for real. Because that's not how trees work. They don't just start floating. Why? Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like it's iconic. iconic. It, is, it iconic. is kind of iconic. It is. At the same time, many things are iconic that shouldn't be. So. True. Minecraft takes place in a world where Newton was never born. Everything else is exactly the same. But yeah, he, could, he never invented gravity. <laughs> One of the stupider things in um, Doctor Who is in canon, gravity is now called Mavity. Oh. That's fine. Because... <laughs> Isaac Newton misheard them say gravity, which changed the timeline, and now it's Mavity. Oh dear. Also, he's hot, so. That's Isaac fine, Newton's I think. Isaac Newton's hot in Doctor Who. Okay. Just thought <laughs> you'd like to know. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm, I'm here. This is information I needed. Become Gollum when I'm building. Were you by chance once a hobbit? It's very possible. <laughs> <laughs> the creature comes out whenever you're uh, building. Yeah, the oh, beast comes deal. out. <laughs> is it? Is it good for me? Not really. Um, for us, it depends. content. True. I'm not positive. <laughs> I think becoming Gollum is like the least positive activity you can engage in, to be honest. I don't know, I think he's <laughs> like, Definitively. He, he definitely lives a life. He lives a life. He doesn't have a balanced diet, but he has a regular diet. He's definitely thriving in that cave. Pretty much everything that happens after, <laughs> less so. You know, if they left him alone, he'd probably be fine. If yeah, everyone left him... True, so true. Not a lot of people can say that. Yeah. I'm gonna be real, I don't know anything about him. Um, does he eat rocks? Maybe. Eats fish. <laughs> oh, I know that, yeah, you're right. I know for certain that, um... As if... If Gollum was left alone, I know Middle Earth would have been way worse off because they would have just found the ring instantly. Mm hmm. But, uh, as it is, mostly finding <laughs> Gollum and dealing with him caused a lot of problems too. So, like. I feel like Lord of the Rings with Gollum and Lord of the Rings without Gollum, same length but different issues. Severely different issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like one is how do we destroy the ring? The other is, um, 
<laughs> How do we get the ring back from a sour one? Mm-hmm. It's, it's like one... Like, the original is, like, just fantasy adventure type vibes. I feel the other would be, like, adventure fantasy in the form of, like, the battles that are going on against, uh... The Lord, the Lord on high. Mm -hmm. Might almost be I do think that the the middle, the middle, the realm that is Middle Earth is a post-apocalyptic world, because at, at, it's like, well, it's post-apocalyptic for the elves and the dwarves. Mm. Everyone that, that came after the, and like basically humanity and the hobbits are kind of just like okay. But for the elves and dwarves, pretty much everything that they did is has been lost. They've lost so much history just because of like Sauron's influence. Why am I talking about Lord of the Rings? I don't even know that much about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> from the conversation I gathered, you were a huge fan. I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> I am, but I feel like if I start getting into like Silmarillion stuff, then we'll just. This won't be a fun conversation for even me, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lord of the Rings is a very. It's a very. It's a big. It's a big amount of information on what the universe holds. That being said, it's also real weird sometimes, like how technically the world is flat for elves. But only for elves and nobody else. Also, it makes um, sense. Dwarves <laughs> have like relatively high end scientific method by knowing what the nervous system is. That one's a little more for well, me because it's technically in like, yeah. the movie rather than the book, but still. That's that's not, that's not canon. That's just like you know, inference. <laughs> But that being said, but also, there's a lot of So the thing is, <laughs> in <Go> the movie, <laughs> well, okay, so in all of the rings, it's, a lot of the rings is, like, canonically, it's translated to English, right? Yes. So all the words you see are, you know, translated from the original, whatever was spoken, like into English. Yes. But kind of no. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> arguably, when people say certain words, we can't infer that they take the same exact meaning as they do in the original language. Hey, it's Bates Hunter. Um, and <laughs> so technically when he says, you know, stuff about the nervous system, we can't take that as him necessarily knowing exactly what the nervous system is, only that he has some equivalent. inference of, yeah, some e equivalent knowledge that has been translated into the nervous system. So he may not know scientifically what the nervous system is, like just that do. the word that he used is equivalent to the nervous system. I know how, like, before they had the science to really look into it, they, like, knew the, the parts of the human body, like the brain, the yeah. organs and stuff, but they didn't know their exact purposes and how they worked. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. I got into a conversation on one of my streams a while back. I think it was a Stardew Valley stream. And I was just like, what? So when it comes to, like, the four humors... <laughs> I understand, like, I know what, like, the red bile, well, it's blood, yellow bile, um, it's something in black bile, and, but I was like, what actually is black bile? Because, like, what part of my body has to ooze to tell me I'm depressed? <laughs> and <I> mean, <laughs> if something's, like, something just, like, black and oozing is coming out of me, I think there's a bigger issue. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely I mean, is an issue. Hello, Dave. Does it happen with babies when they're just born? Duff what? Huh? Because <laughs> they're, they're, well, um, their feces is, is just, like, lack. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, y okay. <laughs> I feel like, well, everyone's feces can be black if you have, like, a really bad diet. Or, like, an infection. <laughs> I think you'd have to... <laughs> Dedicate yourself to that. <laughs> Dedicate yourself to having black shit? I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I'm to exclusively eat Hot Pockets for the rest of my life. Then again, the lactose allergy might kill me first. <laughs> you never know. 
Chemist, do you have sheep? No, actually. Okay, Valk, do you have sheep? No. I only Does have, anyone have sheep? sheep. I only have snippers. <laughs> no. Uh, give me a second. I thought you I had, had sheep. Like three. I do, but they're naked right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you should get some workers' exploitation on them. But I don't want them to die because that's inconvenient. My sheep have died fully like four or five times from like random events, and I've had to keep going and getting them back. So I just really don't want to kill them myself. It's very inconvenient. We have four sheep. I'm flying to your house to naked your sheep. <laughs> I might have gone overboard with this bamboo farm, I'm realizing. Have you gone overboard or have you just prepared? thing is, I think it's more just being prepared because of just like how much bamboo a super smelter really uses. That being said, I look at the max height of bamboo right now and it's still kind of excessive even though I lowered it. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. Jam in time. Nice. Have you all seen the bakery? Hello. It is so pretty. It is so oh, cute. Fishy. Wow, grassy ass. Yeah. Hi, Valk. Uh, I didn't like any of the. Blood colors. Blood. I'll be back. Okay, see you in a bit. What about the T-Rexes? Enjoy breakfast. Thank you. I didn't get any of the wool colors I needed. Oh, this is a tragedy. Goodbye. I'm not looking forward to need to actually do the minecart stuff for this. Oh, that's a later issue. Everything's a later issue if you can procrastinate well enough. So true. Everything's a later issue if you exist in a time in a space with linear time. You can't live in the now. There you go. <laughs> I nearly planted all my bamboo finally. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight more rows to do. Stopping by the shopping to check my honey. Nobody has purchased any honey. One person actually Bingo. purchased some packed mud, so that exciting. That was me. <laughs> I honestly would not have expected anyone else, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I mean, really, you seem I like, like a mud, mud kind of guy. I do like a bit of packed mud. I was thinking of making some pathways, I haven't got around to it yet. Oh, did you see that I um, basically put some like sketchy pathways down? I haven't yes. done it to connect to the cathedral, not cathedral, the chapel yet. Cathedral's like different. Um, mm -hmm. It's also not a chapel. Is it not? It's a church. What's the difference? They are different things. Well, I assumed in you saying this, but I don't know what the difference is, <laughs> so I'm asking for you to explain. I believe a chapel is a is inside a different building? I forget exactly. I know they're different things, but I don't remember why. I think a church is like a singular building, and I think a chapel is inside a different building. That may be wrong. <laughs> I may be lying, but okay, let me look it up. Let me, let me stop flying for a second. Ah, unlike a church, a chapel is a place of worship that has no pastor or priest and no permanent congregation. It's all about the physical space. In the classic sense, it's usually smaller than a church, sometimes just a room can be within a church itself or a secular place like a hospital or airport. So I was okay. pretty much correct. <laughs> Speaking of 
speaking of chapels, uh, I did actually beat the the main game of Cult of the Lamb recently. Ooh. Very fun game, Excited. by the way. It is so fun. I thought the last battle was pretty easy, but I just actually they don't they really struggle with the count. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't it the was very hardest. fun. The hardest part about it was definitely just rolling bad weapons. Mm -hmm. At the very beginning, I was like, well, yeah, I don't have the money to re-roll this. I'm doing that. I'm just going to deal with it. Yeah, whenever I rolled, I rolled like an axe or a gun, I was just like, oh my god, we have to do this whole run. My personal pair of weapons are the axe, the gun, <laughs> and <laughs> um, the hammer. A completely opposite from me. Those are the ones that I hate. So, <laughs> for me, because like, I don't want to have to keep clicking all the fucking time, and which is weird in Cold of the Lamb. That's like, that's exclusively what I do in Hades. <laughs> that's most of what you do. But um, I like fast weapons. It's I just I can't, I can't be doing with slow weapons. It's annoying. But in like the Cold of the Lamb ones, your dodge is so relevant all the time that like. I feel like when you're doing, what's it called? When you're doing like actual combat, it's usually better to try and target target enemies to by dodging, so you can make sure you stick to the actual plan of, hey, I really don't have much health. I need to make sure I don't get hit, and then just come in every now and then for a big hit. So for the mm -hmm. gun, you just absolutely unload on them, but it, for the others, you it's just big hits. I guess I'm playing very defensive. Yeah. Which also leads into uh, I got the I got the what is it the fleece that gives effectively Hollow Knight healing, mm -hmm. and that is so useful. You can't heal otherwise, but I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I kind of just stick with the default fleece or the golden one. I it's usually was my... doing default for quite a while. Okay, this looks kind of like shit. How has this person done it in a way that doesn't look like shit? This is like... Doo Doo Kaka. <laughs> straight poopy in here. I've done three attempts at making this and all three of them have looked really bad. Chicken backpack full of copper. Can anyone else sleep, by the way? Uh, if you give me like two minutes, I can. I thought I will. Fantastic. I don't understand. I'm looking at a design by someone called Poophead underscore. Um, yeah. So, uh, but I can't. I just can't figure out how this guy's like done it. His his thing is attached, but there's banners everywhere. How are you putting the banners behind things? <laughs> I really should have saved my materials for that beacon. But I had to make railings.
So I'm gonna do that. That there's a gap. How do, how have they done it without a gap? Why are you hitting your ball? Why have you done this, boy? Okay, thinking, thinking. For harvesting the bamboo, I do want like hopper mine carts. I probably want them to do two sweeps effectively. So first sweep is when they, yeah, first sweep is when the actual, no, that doesn't work. It's not going well. I mean, it kind of looks like an organ from a distance. Well, it's, if I stand like this far back, it kind of looks like an organ. Oh, sorry. I think I just figured it out. I need to make it so the collection point is over here and the sending point is over there. So that way, the slime block launcher just kind of goes first, and then when it reaches the end, the fine cards are sent across to collect. And then when it return on its return trip, which clears off any bamboo that got stuck on top, it then hits the back again and then sends all the mine cards back. That could be good. Again, yeah, this thing is also huge, so I don't know. Eh, it should be fine. There's gonna be what? How many? How many hopper mine carts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, there's gonna be twenty hopper mine carts. So that is a hundred stacks of bamboo. It should be able to harvest at a time not including upper limits. Yeah, that works. That's easy. Gotta have this enough. do some experiments for right now. What do you think, Valk? I'm not aware that Valk thinks. It's very possible he doesn't, but I would like his opinion nonetheless. I wouldn't even be able to put like a bench in front of this one. Okay, what if I get rid of these trapdoors? Then you can see all the ugly underneath <laughs> Oh, that looks silly. <laughs> that looks great, Doc. <laughs> this guy playing a little tune. Are there instruments in this? There are. Cool. I had one. Could have just been that, but no. Was it perhaps stolen? No, I have it. It's in. It's part of the thing I've created. Oh. 
Yes. I just thought it could be better. But that was by Hubris. I am Icarus and this organ is my son. Oh my god. Speaking of just Hubris. Recently, I somehow got sucked into doing a, a art project of... I guess I'm drawing every single boss from Fight Night. So, cool. I guess that's what I'm doing. I made a hole. I made a hole. I've got two of them done so far. I'm working on the third one. And I'm just like, what? What compelled me to do this? Why am I doing this? Yeah, not a clue, by the way. Not, not a single fucking clue. No, 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 no. Wrong. Incorrect. So wrong. Show me the drink box. <laughs> this is the one I pulled out of the machine. And by machine, I mean the barrel. Which is not a machine at all, but an object. Well, I think it looks like shit. I'm going to be honest with you. I think I've made a mistake in doing this. But now that I've put this much time into it, I've decided I don't care anymore. I'm the real king. This looks like bad. <laughs> Now I don't know what to do, so. Well, it is what it is. Well, I'm gonna make a harp. The new. Do I have room for a harp? No, not that one. He's not real anymore, he doesn't exist. No, I don't really have room for one. Maybe we won't have a harp. Maybe it's just the shitty organ that I don't like. I'll get over it. I love Minecraft. I love building in Minecraft. It's my favorite thing to do. I'm not convinced. I've never had an issue with doing it ever. Oh! Sorry, I didn't have a comparator in subtract mode. I mean, how could you? Could you do such a thing? I could not find my gloves, so I am sat here with, um, fingerless wool gloves on, trying to play Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I need to order some more, because I had two pairs. One of them just disappeared off the face of the earth. Um, and then so is one of the other pairs, and I have a single compression glove. What the fuck can I do with that? Eat it. You know what? Good idea. Funny little guy. Good idea. Yeah, me too, brother. <laughs> That's my, my state of being right now. I am suffering, Sip Cup. I've, I've, you haven't heard my, my opinions on this organ, so I'm going to tell you it now. I think this organ looks like shit and I hate it. I'm mad that I built it and I'm mad that I spent an hour and a half building it, probably. Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need help? In Minecraft. <laughs> I, need to be, I need to be put down like a dog. Can I prescribe you some copium? I was thinking you were going to say cocaine, I was going to be like, yes, please, for God's sake. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I need that it. That could be done too, just give me like five minutes. 
<laughs> God, yes, I need it. <laughs> okay, just bear with me. <laughs> oh, I paused my music ages ago and I haven't even unpaused it. That's so sad. There we go. I need to look at the, this place in Google Maps. Oh, that was incorrect. Uh oh. Okay, let's have a look. What else can I build in the interior here? I could put the pews in. Pews. Hello. Welcome Hello, back. welcome back. I don't know how I'm going to put the pews in. Because there isn't any in the real life, but I do want there to be some in this one. I guess I have to like put them like in between the pillars. What are these little, little things called again? Bench. It would make good pews. Something happened. Oh. What happened? I think my loading mechanism is incorrect. Uh -oh. oh, cringe. Imagine having an incorrect loading mechanism. Wow, I don't have to imagine, I can, I can see it. I definitely have a loading mechanism which is always correct. What I'm so jealous. Got a load of loading mechanism. It's called me when my loading mechanism hands. is correct. <laughs> Three loading mechanisms that are correct. Goddamn! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks like ass. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Is it cocaine? <laughs> Please let it be cocaine. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there is secretly a drug thought at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we snuck it in while Canvas wasn't looking. Yep, that's how it works. We hacked past the firewall and added it in. Minecart suddenly not loading. They're so spread out, but I can't put them any closer unless I do two per section. In which case, but then will they be too dense? What? What is wrong with this? What's? What's? Why is this not working? <laughs> Facing wrong way. Yes, facing the right way. Um, <clears throat> it may look goofy. Just give me all of these. Fifty-two benches. It's fine. I'll use them. I don't care anymore. If I give them back, so it look a little bit more good. Da, 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 da. Wait, what the fuck? Huh? Oh, shit, that's wrong. I guess I can't be one of the back because then they would touch the stairs. We can't have them touching the stairs. It would be a tragedy. 
No, no, one in the middle. In general, it just sounds like you're suffering. Gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm maybe developing symptoms of a new condition <laughs> oh, no, that never seen before. <laughs> Three stacks of rails in there, and I push this minecart like that. It locks behind, and does it load that minecart then? Because no, because now it's too far. It's gone too far. Don't flick my trapdoors, Valg. I'm going to cry. I think you're having a time. I really am having some sort of time that I've never had before. This is a new type of time been freshly discovered. Oh, this song goes crazy though. <laughs> Why does that not work? That's what's holding me together. Solid dark oak tramp door. Tramp door? Trap door. Not tramp door. Tramp door. I wouldn't say that about them. What do the dark oak ones look like? Is that better? Um, narrow. Wrong. Incorrect. Okay. How do I. How do I do this? I. I know it's a height and block placement issue, but I don't know how to get it to be adjusted. I'm gonna be real. No, this was wrong. Why did I do that? That's the wrong material. Oh, I'm falling apart. Just give me a gazillion spruce trapdoors, it's fine. You know, there's I'm one weird solution I could theoretically do. Solution. Solution. Wait. No. Wondered if it would look better if it was the other way, but it doesn't. Just doesn't. Give me my trap. Rude. <laughs> well, you're nasty, so that's, you understand. <laughs> oh, everyone's so mean to me. Nasty in boy. my in my time of distress. I'm on my way with something to help you cope very well, I think. Side of it? What? Yes. <sighs> this is definitely how I lose my mind. <sighs> I need to look up a tutorial, I think. I can't I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why Every time you walk out the door yeah, There's fine. even a little more inside Are you enriched? I, I need to die Beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Oop, wrong one <laughs> I see. I don't know if I want to deliver this anymore. <laughs> Bubble party. Um, 
Well. <laughs> Are you guys okay? <laughs> it's, it's okay. If you stand up, I've got a gift for you. <gasps> Yes. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, um. uh, yes. <laughs> oh god, I did not prepare for what was gonna happen. Didn't ask for a one. second time. Gonna be honest. <laughs> how, are you, how are you feeling after that one? <laughs> um. <laughs> I did myself cough. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I felt that one. <laughs> that, was, that was a real cough, that was. <laughs> I died. Now I just need to figure out, like, how much do I want to invest in this uh, super smelter? Because I was thinking <laughs> at least a stack would be nice. Concerned as to what you guys are doing, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it's not drugs. Uh -huh. Sure. Uh. <laughs> Remember, kids, don't That's do drugs. Or you'll be like this. <laughs> That's only shrine. I only use them. <laughs> That's not that bad. Well. So you're the dealer. Absolutely. You're an enabler. What do you think the solution is? <laughs> More drugs. Exactly. Something like a death pose in the church. I can I can mourn you. Hold on. Oh. I feel like a slug. That's enough. What do you mean by that? Anywhere here. <laughs> Do you have a statue yet? No. People keep telling me I have to put Jesus in here. <laughs> yeah. But I don't want it to be a Christian church. I'm leaning too much into Catholicism. This is a non denominational church. I can Religion that doesn't exist. I can switch Jesus my skin live here. to uh, Malabar again and then you could um, crucify me. 
I could do that, but I don't know who you are, canonically. I don't know who Malifar is. That's okay. I'd love to crucify you. Speaking of, I need to get the the emote that lets me be on a pole. Oh yeah, I have that one. I don't have any With of the, the new, any of the newer emotes. I didn't I didn't end up doing that, gonna be honest. I'm real oh, yeah. and just the defaults. Something about you doing this in a church feels quite wrong. Hey, it's my church. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay. Who could stop me? <laughs> anyway, I feel better now. Thanks, Soup. Your cocaine and mysterious liquids have cured me. Yeah, just don't drink the green one again. I don't want to know what will happen <laughs> again. Legu. <laughs> I felt I definitely feel more liquid than I did before. <laughs> hey, if all else fails, you can give it to an unsuspecting person. Just let me know who you give it to, and I'll write up the results. True. Hey, Valk. You want to drink some juice? <laughs> oh, I got a web surface. <laughs> <laughs> you know, while you're at it, definitely have this too. It's also good for you. Is anyone? Uh, good question. Have fun. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I forgot I didn't make two of these. Well. I can't believe it's only been two hours. I feel like I've been here for a century. <laughs> Well, I guess I'd better make the front of the church now. <coughs> I fucked up my throat by doing that noise. <laughs> like, genuinely, it was really hard to Spider legs, very helpful. I thought you knew centipede legs. Well, yeah, you do. But, the, you know, spider. It's not what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be real, that's incorrect. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, centipede and Spider-Man. Those are different. To you, maybe. That crap table here, I believe. There's Creeper. A man in my house. Fuck off. Oh man. Oh, I can put like a candle. That would be kind Sorry, you died of bad voodoo. I couldn't get the CD. Oh, rip. Let me in hole, please. How do you make them cool ass candles? Uh I I think this is gonna be a 61 nope 65 item loader. So I'm thinking I might make just I could just make it funny and be like this is a 69 furnace setup. I could do that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, why not? I mean the number I'm I pick is arbitrary, so. Just 
like the sense. furnaces at the end won't be um, taking inputs, basically. Oh, that's a regular candle. That's why that looked weird. I can't even put regular candles in. What the hell? Wait, was that rebar shit? What does that look like? Ooh, that could look good. But I need to go to magnetic caves. Hey Val, can I go to trip? <laughs> I honestly haven't seen like any of the new caves. I need to actually like find uh, them, but I it's just not happening. I've only I've only been to the primordial one. <laughs> Same. Do I have a map for the Well, I followed hmm. the map to one of them, and I don't think we have it. Do we not? Oh. No. But that's the one I need. <laughs> yeah, magnetic caves. I, I have a map for it, but it's outside of the border. I'll check later oh. on, like, how far out, and I'll just figure it out from there, so... Just... I mean, I can check right now with my powers. I also have the tablet Ooh. for the, um... What's it called? The deep ocean one. I haven't checked the map for that one yet though. Fine, it's just that. It may lag. <laughs> I don't know why it does this every time. It's because it's so far out and has to try and render things. Thanks for the cake and the sandwich, Falk. It's not even doing it. <laughs> it's not even doing it. it. Crashes the server. Is the server actually crashed though, or is it just I got kicked? Yeah, it's trying to crash the server. I did say I'd do it later. Server's restarting still, looks like. Yeah, it's old and Jesus, that's not that's not what a V looks like, sorry to say. I'm time to look at fight night stuff. currently work on a king casket art piece it's it's kind of in the rough stage at the moment so i'm very much kind of uh figuring out shapes but he do got his tits out so i can't argue for quality beyond that <laughs> what Wait, what'd you do? 
I just, I just tried to look it by him. <laughs> Destroyed oh. everything. It attempts to load. Well, it's not exactly loading chunks, but it's almost trying to gen. It's, it's simulating generation of chunks and a lot of them for far away things like that. Damn. Well, I won't do that again. <laughs> That's why you gotta do it later. Hello. Hello. My bad. <laughs> what is 69 divisible by? Fel the hell's that? Thanks, Val. Valk has put a statue of me sniffing cocaine at the front of my chair. Oh. <laughs> which feels appropriate. <laughs> 69 is divisible by 1, 69, 3, and 13. It's not as incorrect, it's 23. Still a prime number, oh, though. Could you lie to me like that? I don't want to put that in there. Okay. Oh, wow. Really getting it in there. Rod of the unstable reservoir. Well, I don't need that. Eater with vegetables. I don't remember how water works. What it works? I haven't. I haven't done. I haven't done Minecraft in a while. I haven't done vanilla Minecraft in a while. Water. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, another movie, Waterworld. That shit was crazy. I did not watch that. Oh. I don't. I wouldn't recommend it. I need tables. I'll get some dark oak in to balance the dark oakness of the orb. No, we don't have a glacier biome anywhere, do we? Uh, not to my knowledge. Shit. Sorry, that I'm said. Alright. Oh, no shit. Bye. 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 There needs to be some sort of idol up on this this thing, but I don't know what it needs to be. Herobrine. Herobrine. If I had Herobrine, I would. Have you seen what the oh, wait, I guess I could, like... skin is currently? No? Is it a visual one? Well, the the player Herobrine has a skin. Oh, right. No. Oh. Just like the... the, um... The player Steve also has a skin. It's interesting. Uh oh. Let me see. Google, show me this guy's balls. I do not wish to buy your pickle, but thank oh. you. Interesting. <laughs> Describe what you're seeing. Um, Herobrine is wearing a onesie. And He's that. A, like a gray cat onesie. Mm -hmm. Gray cat onesie. And he's furry. Good for him. Good for, Good for him. him. It's like one, one time he had. All these skins have been hero burned except one time when he was like an anime sci fi girl. Transgender. Sometimes. Just, you know, briefly popped in. Oh, and Steve is matching. That's nice. <laughs> Testing the waters, you know? <laughs> you know what? How lovely. Ro and they said romance is dead. <laughs> Steve 
Steve used to be here, Brian. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, in history. Did I run out of hoppers? I thought I brought like three or four stacks. Well, Ooh, Jesus. you didn't. I also might just be blind and then I'd be in my inventory. It's very possible. <clears throat> I, mean, I could just put straight up Jesus on it, but I don't think I want to do that. Well, to go home and get even more iron, I guess. That's an Iniku. You could get a Hatsune Miku head. I I don't even need the head, I could just have a Hatsune Miku. I can make a statue. That's genius. You're a genius. Thank you. We did have Hatsune Miku out of canon. We did have Hatsune Miku last season on a water fountain in, in the build that me and he and me were doing. That's beautiful. She is our queen. I will, I will join your religion if, it, if it's worshipping <laughs> Hatsune Miku. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll let me make a statue. There we go. I need a shit ton of iron. Oh god. There is actually one Miku song in the Malafar playlist. Which one? I don't know. But I know there's one because I can just hear Miku. Every now and then I'm just like, Miku, Miku's in my ears. I'll open Spotify and try and figure it out. Uh, everyone has to play their part, I know that much. Oh, there's a Brazilian Minku skin. I'm glad. <laughs> That's Have you guys been seeing the Brazilian Minku trend? Yes. She looks very cool. Oh. I like the worldwide Miku Mikus. I've seen someone who's doing like a lots of variations of Irish Miku, and they did like an Irish famine Miku. Okay. <laughs> Remember when Brazilian Miku happened, and then not long after, uh, Twitter they banned Brazil on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is sad. Incorrect. That's actually Terrible. not what happened. What happened was, um, Brazil wasn't banned on Twitter, Twitter was banned in Brazil, which is way worse. It's the same thing. Yeah. This is okay. Like, significantly a worse situation for Twitter. Oh, you've changed your skin. How could you me? Ask me to become Miku again. There we go. I found a Miku. It's fine. I don't need you anymore. Satsumaya Satsumaya more 11. And small. Wow, Dr. Maiko, Michael Itavani, the rock smasher, is working nearby. That's wild. <laughs> That's great. That's good to know. That's wild. Absolutely tubular. <laughs> I should like to desaturate and that'd be nice. Maybe I'll just make like a desaturated Miku skin for myself later and then put her on there. But for now she is. In all her glory. In all her colored glory. Oh, now Chemist is doing cocaine. That's nice. Cool. And Valk is twerking? <laughs> also cool. You can bet. Miku promotes cocaine. I would believe it. Was Party Junkie originally a Miku song? Was that a Miku one? Or was that just a remembering a cover? Anyway, I think Miku could do cocaine. Miku can do whatever she wants. Good for Miku. Yeah. I'd support her anyway. Mm hmm. If I didn't hate Vocaloid Sex so much, I'd get a voice bank, but I just can't cope with Vocaloid Sex. It sucks so bad. Vocaloid what? Vocaloid Sex. Okay. It's the newest editor. Huh? And it's so bad. Oh. Sorry. I know none of you know anything about actual vocals and stuff beyond me, but. That's all. <laughs> oh, vocal and sex? Yeah. True. I played one of the games before. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a vocal producer for nearly nine years now. Oh, That's tragic. <laughs> it's tragic for me. <laughs> well, I can say that. I'm a synth free producer now. I just can't be doing the vocal at six. It's so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Yamaha. You fucked it up for everyone. 
this whole time, I just realized what you were saying this whole time, I thought you were saying vocal aid sex, not sick. <laughs> My accent is not in any, any way pronouncing that as sex. It's six. No, I, know. I also <laughs> heard it as sex though, so. Vocal aid sex, let's go. <laughs> hey, finally. In this house, we support vocal aid sex. Good for them, I guess. Good for, Good for them. them. There are robots in my computer and they are having sex. Good for them. Did he ship in Vocaloid? In the Vocaloid anime? <laughs> I don't know. They're actually making a Vocaloid anime, so technically. But it's gonna be like a Proseca anime, so it doesn't really count. Oh. Can I just type in Miku? No. Miku. <laughs> just check it. <laughs> what else can I put on this thing? We've got Miku. I thought he was gonna bump into Miku Miku Nishitagere then. So I'm like, damn chemist. You're really on it. <laughs> but no, what is that? Miku Miku Nishita Ageru Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it was preemptive. Yeah, fair. The <laughs> deal. fact did you know there's really racist cards in magic the gathering they got they were so racist they're banned in every format i am not surprised some the because they're slurs <laughs> some because they show no. blatantly racist things one of which being the kkk oh oh well that's good yeah um thing is though like it it's the card's called Invoke Prejudice. <laughs> the art is definitely depicting the KKK, and it makes it so whenever your opponent casts creatures that aren't of the same color of creatures you control, they have to cost twice as much if they're countered. That's crazy. It is <laughs> fucking wild. <laughs> like other cards. What an interesting choice to make. Yeah, really interesting choice. Like other cards, they um. Other cards they banned for the same reason, of uh, the fact that these are very racist. <laughs> uh, are like cards like um, there was a, a couple actually that depicted religious wars. One of them being the Crusade. Yeah, that one was interesting. But others are like slurs or like um, what is it called? Propaganda type of uh, depictions of peoples. There are some Damn. wildly, wildly offensive magic cards. The thing about the card Invoke Prejudice, though, it's... So, it's one thing with a lot of these cards where, oh, okay, obviously this is racist, and they'll probably just, like... And they have printed cards in the, fut in the future that aren't... There are similar mechanics, but without the racist names and art. <laughs> The, is the issue is, though, with Invoke Prejudice is that is a card with mechanics that Magic doesn't really like anymore. They So they're never going to print a card like that again. Which is ideal, but like more so with the mechanics. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, oh, okay, this is weird. Mm, I see. Wasn't expecting... High amounts of racism in my fantasy card. Well, actually. <laughs> well. <laughs> what is it with like D and D settings and people being like, you know what? I want to simulate. I want to be really racist. <laughs> racism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be really racist to elves. Actually, it's like, you know, you know, there doesn't have to be racism in this fantasy world. It's like, I want there. To be. No, there has to be. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it with specifically like D and D type settings? Like, yeah, you know what? They're gonna be a little racist. <laughs> it's all Gary Guy Guys' fault. God. Is that the Elven Breast Milk guy? What? No. It's diff that's a different one? There there's, I think so, there's right? one of the lead um, creators of D and D and and the Beyond and the um, whatever it's called. Forgotten Realms. Where like at one point like Anyway, I'm going to go into great detail about what elven breast milk would taste like. And it's like... Yeah, it was Ed Greenwood. <laughs> hmm. so, oh. Why? Great question. Like, sure, sure whatever. <laughs> Technically, I understand you are doing world building on a high detail level. But, like, who was this asking is too much. these questions? <laughs> who asked the questions to start this? Where did this conversation mm -hmm. come from? <laughs> I 
I just have a few, just a few questions about it, you know? Mm-hmm. Just, just a couple inquiries. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of interesting stuff in the, um, the old D&D stuff. Did you see they're adding, um... Well, the CEO of Hasbro, at least, they have, they have not officially done anything. But the CEO of Hasbro is like, yeah, I've seen a lot of people with D&D, when they play this game, they are using AI to create their characters, their worlds, things like that. I want to bring the use of AI directly to the gameplay of D&D. And everyone's like, yeah, what? I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, who are you talking to, sir? Who are you talking to that could possibly want that? Well, uh, surprisingly, there's a large section of D&D uh, &D that isn't uh, played by, you know, the queer community. There's a decent amount of people that actually aren't in that community <laughs> that play this that also aren't artists. And for that reason, mm -hmm. yeah, of course there's going to be people that are like, uh, I have no art skills, why would I... Um, why would I attempt to do this, this or that myself? I could, I could just run a system that makes the AI do it for me. It's like, mm, you could also like shove that up your ass. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> that is the other option. That is the other option. And I would employ you, perhaps option. consider it. <laughs> yeah. Just perhaps. Just perhaps. Wait a minute! I don't need. Hmm. I messed this up. Lol, cringe. I need a shit ton of... Yeah, I'm just gonna destroy this and rebuild it. It's just, it's the easiest option here. I need twice as many hoppers for the loading mechanism, though. Oh, well, I didn't mean to craft 28 lanterns, but I have them. Actually, I think I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> 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 Sorry, you didn't see what just happened. Just like. I, no, I, I'm with you there, man. <laughs> I turned around, a creeper spawned, I hit him to knock him away, and they still exploded. And blew up a <laughs> massive section in the bamboo farm, so there's just a hole in it. I'm like, damn. All right. Rip. This all could have been avoided. This all could have been avoided if we were never born. Right, That's let's... the stage I've reached. Too fucking bad. <laughs> I birthed you from my own womb and you will deal with it. I don't want that to be the truth. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, like, can you not have been pregnant with me? <laughs> <laughs> it would make very many factors of our life very, very strange if that was the case. <laughs> Go outside and do something else. Let's go touch some grass. Well, I do mean outside in Minecraft, so There's not that not there. that extreme. <laughs> That's true. It would be funny if they just did like one update that was just allowed you to like reach your hand out and touch the grass. You can do it's that. It's like an April Fool's update. <laughs> Technically, there was an April Fool's update. That literally, you literally pick up grass. So I guess. True. True. Okay, let's see. It's one, been, two. It's been so long in the church. I, the sunlight is it's too much. There. 
actually start figuring out where the graveyard's gonna go. That can be fun. What kind of graveyard are you building? One of them. Ooh, one of them. <laughs> one of the graveyards. <laughs> Personally, I like that one best. Alright, this is a lectern on page 2 of 15. I always like graves and stuff in the Moa stuff. Once again, Moa didn't call my best friend. We'll prop for next season, even if we're doing vanilla, we'll probably still have the decor mods. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, we also vanilla. might just like not to like really get the vanilla experience again. You could do um <laughs> they have the research hacks where you can create like furniture and stuff in live. That's true. There's a lot of like really nice decor mods though as well. I know Mr. Crayfish has done an update, so that's also cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like a re-release version of the Mr. Crayfish furniture mod that actually looks really nice. It has its own like electricity system. It's kind of cool. Ooh, very nice. Sounds cool, yeah. I didn't realize we didn't have Mr. Crayfish this time. I was kind of sad. I was looking for like a nice sofa for upstairs, and then we just didn't have any. <laughs> yeah, well, there's only one kind of sofa. Yeah, and it's ugly. <laughs> Oh, am I going to decorate my cute little interiors? Also, you it's might white. be able to dye it. You can't, I don't think. Well, there's no variations on the, in the JEI. Well, there are no variations in JEI, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I have these, I'm not blind as fuck, like it's very possible. It, it, it does exist. Oh, there it is, okay. Well, maybe I'm just blind. It's very possible. To die it? No, I was looking for graves and I couldn't find them. But I'm oh, just blind. Okay. It also might be in Spanish. It also might be in Spanish, but it isn't. It's just that I couldn't see it. Because they're all grey and they kind of blend in with the background. But what, what if it's Spanish? Make it but what if it's Spanish? <laughs> that is. I don't, I don't know what the word grave is in Spanish. I'm going to find out. That's a useful bit of vocabulary for me. Kind of. I probably should try and pick Tumba. up Spanish again. Let's do it. We can practice with each other. I need someone to practice with. Half the name doesn't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> he makes fun of me. <laughs> my accent. But it's not my fault I have an accent. I was born this way. Well, I was born in a place where it made me this way. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry. It's time. Oh, I accidentally crafted 63 holiday gems, so I guess I'm going to be making a lot of these. I know there's a lot of like Dia de la Muerte stuff, out, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, there's, there's like graves and coffins and stuff. Tombstones. Like, I know there's Halloween, but I know I think there's also like Day of Dead. Yes. And like... Yeah. There's Katrina. And Penance. Jesus! Jesus. Jesus Cristo. Hey, uh, Shrine, would it be okay if I... I Took one of your cows for my bakery. Yeah, go ahead. Do a little bit of thievery. Thank you. Yes. And this isn't a trap, right? I'm not gonna get banned like I did with the, the birds. <laughs> you never know. I, th I think cow cow is illegal. Cow is legal. We okay, allow cow so to exist. Take all the cows then. Uh, well, maybe not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my animals so many times. I might move them underground at some point, actually, because they're kind of ugly out here. But uh -oh. I'll have to get around. I'll to go. Them. Uh oh, ugly. My cows don't fit with my vibe. <laughs> they don't fit my aesthetic. They're not grammable. Okay, let me look at this graveyard. I'm gonna. I, mean, I won't do it the same as in real life because it would be kind of 
No offense to the graves in real life, but it would be kind of not very exciting to look at in Minecraft. So oh. true. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so true. There he goes. I couldn't imagine a different way. <laughs> that what cocaine does to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't do drugs, this kids. Is, this is your brain on cocaine. Are there any, like, hedges? No, there's no hedges. It's going along pretty well, actually. I do need to test something. Oh, shit. Because, like, is this bud powered? No, we're good. Blood powered? I didn't say that. What did you say? Bud. Oh, that's not the quietest one. I need to put some magnum torches I... around here. I also realized I did kind of fuck up. That's okay, though. <laughs> it looks so silly, the leaf cut the ant pupa. But there are different types of vines. Oh, I love chipped. I love chipped so much. I'm gonna marry chipped. We're gonna have a beautiful right. wedding. They're taken already. I married them already. Oh no! <laughs> to, to quote, um, everything I, everything I love is taken from me. <laughs> to quote the song the Hedgehog fan dub, let's enter a polyamorous marriage. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep me updated. <laughs> I don't have to like order this thing. I can't get like, a good view of it on Google Maps. Very well positioned for this camera. I don't have just like walls and hedges. What walls have we got? <laughs> Where should the dude chip? Is it just like a classic like cobblestone wall? Would that be crazy? I don't think so. Classic. I don't think it would be. It's like a very classic OG cobblestone wall. I'm kind of considering trying to incorporate a decent amount of like copper into my um what it's called? Industrial District? Because I think it could be cool to have like, all my redstone be on copper stuff while like the structures are all actually like deep slate. That does sound cool. Mm. Would you keep, would you oxidize it or would you keep it black? Probably oxidize, honestly. Just because I think it looks a little better with the um, with the deep slate, the like greenish. Sorry, the patina is the term. I think you should wax him, and not only because I sell honey. <laughs> I'll be waxing my my actual base, not this. Oh, technically, it's good to wax the blocks even if they're oxidized for lag, right? Mm. I'm not sure about the fully oxidized stuff. Yeah, I, I think if they're fully oxidized, they don't do anything. So. Oh. Okay. But yeah, I think the other ones technically do have block updates, so it is good to wax them for lag reasons. But we never have issues of lag on WebSMP. Not even once. Yeah, that's, that's never. Not, that's not even a problem. Oops. Only problem we have is Hairbrain. Yeah. True. He's causing all the problems with Sarah. What and problems? if we get lag, it's Herobrine's fault. What problems? Exactly. There's no war in Basing Se. <laughs> There's no lag in WebSMP. There's no lag in WebSMP. <laughs> Rid of all these flowers, unfortunately. I'll put them back later, but now. Nah. So in real life, the the well, graveyard goes like all the way. Minecraft. Well, fuck you. Get out of my house. <laughs> so in real life. <laughs> 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 Anyway, in real life, the graveyard goes like all the way, like across this back side of the building. But do I want to do that, or do I want to like just do like a little section of the building? 
I kind of like this a little bit to be like a garden or something. That would be kind of cute. So maybe we'll just like... Honestly, I wonder if even like cutting it off like here would not be a bad idea. Because then like this door is free. But at the same time, I feel like that'd be like a small ass graveyard and like this hill is in the way, which is not ideal. Okay, I need a lectern and I need shit to deep Wait, what are you using a graveyard for? Oh, God. Mm hmm? What are you making a graveyard for? Well, they have a church. Logically. <laughs> that must be a graveyard. Who's died? Who do you want? <laughs> I'm sure many people across history. <laughs> I can make more happen, if need be. Oh. Um, put this fantasy. Um, I've never been ominous in my life. I've never said an ominous word to anyone. <laughs> Honestly, one of the funnier things about the Minecraft movie trailer is the fact that people have been like freaking out, being like, what do you mean the gas are like fleshy jellyfish looking <laughs> things, not ghosts? It's like, you see, well, you see, it actually always went that way. <laughs> who, wait, who has been thinking that they're just like ghosts? I don't know. The casuals. <laughs> the yeah, casuals, normal ghosts yeah. that like live in hell and shoot fireballs. With tentacles. With tentacles. That is a normal ghost. Yeah. What creature's ghost would that be? And why don't we see the actual creature? That would make sense, you know? Good question. Because Minecraft needs to make sense. Yeah, yes. when Minecraft doesn't make sense, I, my, I lose my immersion. Yeah, I actually stop playing Minecraft for a full year every time it doesn't make sense. That makes mm -hmm. sense. I'll make Minecraft. <laughs> Ow! I flew. Away. I will admit, I do kind of miss the thing where you were able to like zero tick um, block, not blocks, you were able to zero tick the, um, what are these called? Zero tick plants and make them grow super fast. I do kind of miss it, even though they're super oh, broken. Oh yeah. All the farms you can make. Yeah, they're super easy. Which makes sense why they removed them. <laughs> Deep slate. I'm going to need observers. Um, I have redstone. I need a little more. My redstone torches. Uh, grab my deep slate already. I have some water there. I'm good. What? 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 Oh, so for art pieces I'm currently working on, I'm currently working on one art piece that definitely has definitely the wide open legs type of thing again, kind similar to the mm -hmm. Cowboy Malfar one. But I also am need to work on the next boss from Fight Night I want to draw is going to be the Skeletar. It's a Mantar skeleton guy, but um, surprisingly not the first one I did. But um, I think I need. I think that's gonna be one where I have to like do the posing and make a reference myself, just because it's a bit of a complex pose I want to work with. Complex. Complex. I, I think I want to do basically something very like a very low shot, kind of like aiming upwards. Very much along the lines of focus on the character as if it's like bellowing to try and like uh, intimidate you. I think that could be really cool. But oh god, it's gonna be complex. So that's why I need to make the <laughs> reference myself or I won't be able to get it. I can't draw things at low angles. I finished a song recently and I tried to like draw from like a low angle to give that like dramatic look. Look, and it looks so fucking goofy. Like, <laughs> I just can't throw the chin, and it just looks stupid. I hate that. References I hate are drawing. your friends. Yeah. I use references. <laughs> it just looks bad. 
I hate drawing. My tablet was so dusty as well. I picked it up. I was like, oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I feel like one cake is definitely not worth one coin, but... Hard to say, hard to say. the trouble of like hiding little crafting tables all over my place and then I don't use them I just go downstairs to my like downstairs crafting table. You have chosen this life. I have and I wish I'd. By the way does anyone need like a significant amount of ash? Because I because my weapon has flame on it. Is that what it's called? No, it's just, it's just no. called fire damage. Fire aspects? Oh. Flame is the bow one. Yeah, flame is the bow one. I wasn't sure if it was just that as well for the, uh, whatever the hell. Apotheosis. But anyway, oh, I'm burning all my enemies, so it's just kind of like leaving me with a significant amount of just garbage. You could make some bubbles. With bubbles? ash? Oh. With that, you can use it bubbles for ash. Ash for bubbles, right? Oh yeah, that does make sense because you probably need soap. Yeah. And ash makes the alkali solution. Oh, With the saponification reaction. Saponification reaction. You can blow them, it's cute. Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to throw pocket sand at soup. I meant to do that. Ugh. Tragedy. Why do I hear the wet slapping sound of a slime? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, you can't make some front of the Slapping in this place. <laughs> the slapper. The slapper. The slapper. Congratulations on being a cake master. Thank you. Thank you. It's very loud in my ears. <laughs> I straight have done like very little modded stuff this season so far. I'm not sure why. I just not done yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't done very much either. I did like a tiny bit of Batania just to get the um the bricks I needed. And Baba I just, like haven't done anything else. Yeah, kind of kind of say I I'm using Batania to just to get like um the Podzol seeds effectively, so I don't have to like constantly <laughs> be farming it. But that's kind of it. Yeah. Hey Merlin, it has been a while. How's it going? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. We're working on our industrial district at the moment. Do I need to make a glass? Not glass. Do I need to make a ice farm? Or, hmm. Can I just find it? I don't know yet. Yeah, the the Baba Buoys are usually jump scares for me, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm not paying enough attention until the Baba Booey happens, then I am like. I said, I said dredge. That is not the word that I was looking for. Shovel. Shovel stuck in dirt. Nice item. That's a good looking item.
And I happen to have a shovel. What mods are on the server? Alright, so it's actually a significant amount of mods on the server. It is... Well, the main mods are Apotheosis. I think it goes with that. Born in Chaos. Batania. Um, Pneumaticraft. Embers. Alex's Caves. Biomes of Plenty. And Better Archaeology. I think those are the main mods for this server. You made the mod pipe, brother. Anyone um, knows it's you. And a shit ton of decor <laughs> mods. Decor and farming. Yeah, it's custom mod pack though. Speaking of, I have not published the mod pack. I keep meaning to do that, I keep also forgetting. This guy, look at him. Behind on everything. Yeah, this is... I think this is the wasteland biome. It's the dry land biome. Yeah, dry lands have, a, have all the like bones and places. Does anyone have like a little bit of rooted dirt I could purchase? Just like one or two pieces. Um, I don't think I do, but I do know. I think it's near Camara's house. There's some rooted dirt that's just not being used. Uh, I am not I'm adding the EMC to mod to this mod pack. I'm not <laughs> doing that. We asked. <laughs> don't worry. Right. I need to be right back and get myself like some actual breakfast real quick. So I'm gonna be AFK for a moment. Okay. Okay. Thank you. The dirt. There's also oh. Alright, yeah, I'll be right back. And give us some breakfast and take a quick break, refill things. Ugh. Yeah. Be right back. We'll fin try and finish up the stuff with the super smelter when I get back though. After that, we're gonna try and hook up the actual um bamboo farm. So here we just realized my drinks were on the screen too.
All right, all right, I'm back. Let me just walk myself back on screen. Put fried egg back in his corner. All right, let's say hi to everyone. Hello, I've returned. Welcome back. Hello. I forgot I haven't made myself my pico de gallo yet because I was gonna be my lunch, but or slash breakfast, but I uh, forgot. So we just have an assortment of grapes. Grape boy. Okay, I would like some grapes. You know what? I could really eat some frozen grapes right now. That would be nice. I saw a TikTok of someone eating frozen grapes. And yeah, they have a bad time because they get brain freezes. It's pretty <laughs> funny. Oh. <laughs> I really like, like cold ass bad. food. <laughs> what was that? The crunchy Have you had frozen blue rice before? Blueberries. I don't yeah, think I have. Yeah. They're I fucking like super cold good. cake. Though. That sounds good. <laughs> I like fruit. I'm a big fruit enjoyer. Me too. You are, it's, you are what you eat. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I might swing over and check out your bakery. Now that I've finished this section of what I was doing. Come on, Mango. We're going on a trip. Is he your favorite rocket ship? He is my favorite. He is my only rocket ship, to be honest. That's fair. My only method of quickly traveling. We're going on a trip in Mango. Well, uh, not in Mango. That would be interesting. <laughs> that would be an interesting experience. A little bit. I need to get myself a wrench. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, hello. Hello. You have a little guy watching you. Oh. Just a little dude. Hi. <laughs> He's in line. <laughs> oh, yeah, get, get behind him. Get behind him. <laughs> Sir, please. You're holding out the line. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, alright? Carry on. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> this is what you got to try and cut. <laughs> you turned around so fast, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to pick you up. Hey, guys. And from the store. Get him on oh. a poster. Oh, he really wants to go in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First customer. What you gotta do? Oh, he's off. There we go. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so cute in here. Aw. Yeah. So I'm gonna have my stock and stuff over here. Probably would need more storage. <laughs> um, tiny little chest. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, that's it. And that's, that's all you get. Big stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, this is this is gonna be the entirety of my sock right here. <laughs> gonna get everything. That's all you need. Um, and then upstairs, I have a little indoor seating area. Oh, cute. That is. Um, oh. and then outside, I have a little outdoor seating area. Oh, this is adorable. Yes, it's and really this is why nice. I needed the bridge. 
<gasps> the beds! Oh my gosh! That's so cute. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the whole thing pretty much. This is incredible. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Right now I'm just faking a bunch of things so I can stock the shop. You've got the same thing that Soup has where you can like, you put so much stuff into a small space but it looks really good. Like if I did this it would just look so cluttered but <laughs> it looks so nice. Oh, I like the fern in the pot, that's cute. Yeah, Very nice. Is this employee of the month? Yes. <laughs> this is, actually we have, this is the owner right here. So it's not me. I'm just an employee. <laughs> this is the employee of the month. And this is our founder. Ah, uh, Steve. Steve, yeah. It's him. The Steve. <laughs> wow. Yeah, very nice. What's this dangly thing? Okay, fine. Thank okay. you. My vocabulary is so wide. I think I've said cute about 20 times in the last yeah. minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's my vocabulary too. <laughs> Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Thank you. Oh, he's back. No. Oh. Wait, is the guy back? Yeah, well, he's leaving. He's following me now, but he was oh. staring again at the door. He's mad at you. Yes, he's peeved. I <laughs> blocked him so getting his bread. <laughs> I too would be peed about not getting my breath peed. Peed? Consider my peed. pants peed. <laughs> pants <laughs> peed, bread obtained. <laughs> <laughs> Same transaction. <laughs> I'm afraid I do not take that as a uh, Oh. I did this for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I pissed my pants. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, my brain, like, disconnected those two points of thought. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry, but I, uh, pissed. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I apologize, but I appear to have peed. Living a wee came out. Graveyard is graved. Meme in the graveyard is uh, graved. I have like a little pathway. It's probably a good idea. I'll connect up to the main path. I'm sure chemists would love that. I would absolutely like, fucking love that. If I connected my paths. <laughs> in actuality, I haven't connected you up directly just because I didn't know where you. What the fuck was that? Hello? Oh, what's a. It's a whirlwind guy. Oh. That's where I get my pocket sand from. Anyway. Hey, you don't have... Speaking of Shrine, when you get a chance, make yourself your banner so I can use it again. Great. Yeah, but the, but the banner's still there. You just have to come get it again. Where is it? It's on my wall. Alright. <laughs> sure, whatever. I hit it. Because it was ugly. Well, you can make an actual banner. Oh, I have to do that then. Fair. Yeah, I haven't actually properly hooked you up to the um, the path, but I think probably if, if you want like a proper hookup, I'd say probably just north of your base, like that north edge of the... It's not an island. Just checking. <laughs> but the north edge of the like coastline, effectively, it's not coast either, it's river. I would say... Probably along there, you could connect to the west up to the pathway that goes north-south between... Well, yeah, because directly to the west of you is the Ruined Tower, and then Punk Wasp and Kara are over there. That's, that's the east, isn't it? That's still west. No, that is the west. You're right. I was facing the opposite direction. Yeah, I haven't about the done paths. that path. What was that? Oh, sorry. About the path, 
um, I noticed that you didn't continue it after my house. But if you want to, just feel free. Like, it won't, because I know it's really close to where my house is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but yeah, you can, you can just do it. I don't mind if you do. Okay, uh, I might put another bridge then. Just over. Hmm. Hard to say. Possibly a bridge over to the west of your base to cross that river. And then southwards okay. towards where Kara and Wasp are. And then possibly a path from there to Soup and Dave. Yeah, I, I love building pathways, so it, it works. <laughs> I love infrastructure. Yeah. In actuality, the pathway is getting decent use this season, specifically because, for example, Valk is super fast. So the easiest way to move is just by walking. So having the pathways yeah. actually works. Unlike other times when paths have not seen quite as much use. No. <laughs> Okay, this is all done. I need a lectern and a significant amount of other bullshit. You know what? I need a silk touch shovel. <laughs> I don't have one, so I'm not going to do that. I'll use this instead. In mind that will take a fucking century to do. I've changed my mind. What are you trying to do? I just want to get some grass. Uh, do you but still have a little bit of mana? And probably. Uh, if you drop a a grass into it, you can get a pasture seed that'll make it so you can spread grass really easily. Oh, well, I did want the blocks though, so that doesn't help me. But thank you. Yeah, where are you trying so to put it? to make grass slabs. Oh, grass slabs. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Keep up. Come on. Does, um... Like, yeah, you can actually make grass slabs, but can you, like... Can you make the dirt slabs and then does grass spread to that? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I really... I haven't tested it myself. I don't know. <laughs> I simply don't know the answer to that. A nice wiggly path. Can I get an opinion on the current max height of bamboo? It, I, I made the others a little more uh, usable but um for the bamboo specifically does it still seem a bit high it's like a tiny bit high is that why it's so high it was higher before oh my god how many blocks <laughs> high is it that right now i don't <laughs> i don't know too high <laughs> i went over to to harper's house because i needed sugar cane for sugar and I broke it, and I literally, I, I crashed. <laughs> my whole <laughs> Minecraft crashed, because it was so many entities. Yeah. I, I, I definitely lowered Sugarcane. I think Sugarcane's max is now six. Okay. But Bamboo That's is still relatively high. I don't really know what to put Bamboo to, though. I don't think it's, like, too bad where it is now. But it is, like, a, maybe, like, one or two blocks too high. It's, it's well... It's a bit excessive. It's a little bit excessive, yes, but I don't think it's terrible. Ow. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Is that the good? I don't yeah, think so. Current, I believe. I believe the current max height of bamboo is 32 blocks. My try off! How fucking dare you! 
It's not a trap. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a frog. Who the hell are you? <laughs> this guy doesn't even know where his traps are. It's in the wet. I found a rain frog. Though. I'm gonna slap him in the water. Wet frog. Does anyone want a rain frog? <laughs> They make I mean, fun sounds. I'll take killer. I like fun sounds. Ah, oh, the moisture. Moisture. Do I have any dripstone? Or am I blind? I might be blind. I don't see any dripstone. This is disappointing. How oh, am I make my patent paths without dripstone? Oh gosh. I'll have to go into the caves. It's, it's not good. It's not good. Do I have? Can you nature's compass a dripstone cave? Does that work? Uh, yeah, actually. You can. That's exciting. Yeah, that's a biome, all right. Hard to say if it'll spawn the biome though, just due to biomes plenty. Um. Then yeah, it does say there's one around, but we'll go find out if that's true. Meow. Meow. Okay, I'm gonna need some obsidian as well. I think I'll reduce the bamboo height by like eight blocks again. Little excessive. It's definitely easier to do overland than. Is that a geode or is that just like a weird rock? Could be both. Could be both. Look at it more, I think it's just a weird rock. No, it's just a weird rock. That's disappointing. Obviously, you're not the target audience. Not everything is for you. <laughs> well, it should be. It should be designed that way, especially for me, because I'm, I'm a special little guy. Of course, of course. make it a crafting stream rather than a um, art stream because that's not something I do very often. Craft yourself some bitches. Sorry. Did it was cry now. That was <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> You know I can't help it. I know, I know. Sobbing, we bit. Shitty, <laughs> Wait, my deaf and hotkey doesn't work. Ugh, that's disappointing. That's not also kind of mean. I didn't intend it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to respond to chat because <laughs> she like, kept talking over me. I was like, I can't deaf. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't meant to be cruel. <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? Me specifically. I'm Anyway, <laughs> but I don't mind any pronouns, <laughs> but most people use it or me. So there's your answer. Am I in the right place? I am. Me when uh, the pronouns hit. Me when the pronouns... Pronoun gang. It started raining. Because we started pre-mentioned pronouns is what happens. 
Oh no. That's, that is what happens. Is this dripstone or is this like it's mudstone? That's a whole different thing. It what looks the, the same. What the fuck, bro? I was looking for that shit. <laughs> what the hell is mudstone? <laughs> well, I found it. So, so mud, take that. Mudstone is like half of what my base is made of. <laughs> With a little pocket of it. That's nice. Yeah, you only get like little pockets. I haven't actually found huge deposits at all. But I keep finding. I do find little ones. I just found another one. Look at that. Look at me go. What biome is this? This is crazy. The swamp. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking in the mangrove swamp for it. I couldn't I couldn't find any. Does anyone have a mass excess of eggs? No. Uh unfortunately not. I haven't tried to get some, but chicken's okay. slow. When chicken I, poops slow. When I need eggs, I wear the chicken backpacks, so I lay them myself. Oh. Freak maneuver. <laughs> Don't do that, actually. <laughs> oh, there is trips down there. <laughs> that, God damn, that's a heavily modded Minecraft. It's not as heavily modded as... Yeah, mother, mother, mother. It's not as heavily modded as we did last season. Last season was crazy. We, we chilled it down a bit for this season. Yeah, most of the mods in this are, uh... Decor. Yeah. Because I love chip. And I love mower decor. I will. One day. I was told I couldn't. <laughs> well, I was told I couldn't marry Chip. But I, haven't, I guess I haven't been told I can't marry Moa Deco. I'll get, I'll get on, I'll get on that one. On it, Chief. Take him on a nice honeymoon. You gotta have an affair with um, Moa Deco. And then I fuck him. <laughs> Okay, that's good enough. That's, I probably only need like 12 drips though. I'm only making a path. <laughs> I guess I don't like that mental image. Well, it's probably better if you know that he's a bird. His, his little character is a bird, so. I have a cloaca. He does have that. Does that help? I don't think so, I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't help me. I'm bothered, bad guy. You're just stealing my brand. You weren't capitalizing on it. I wasn't, that's true. It is, my character isn't even a bird, so I don't know why I have that name, but we're here now. It's because I used to be Owly. That's that's the shrine bird lore. My screen name used to be Owly, but there's also like a file, or not file, a, um, uh, uh what is it called? Like an adfly type thing called ow.ly, so my links never worked properly. <laughs> I see. I, I was completely unsearchable on the internet. That's the that's the the shrine bird law. But back in the day, I was owly. Oh. Ow, my legs. Character may be a bird, but I'm not talking about laying eggs with a bird. It's like, oh yeah, I just gave birth. <laughs> I guess. Don't I mean, worry if it's a fertilized game. egg, I guess. Fertilized egg, it's just like, I don't know, taking a shit. Am Which I, I guess is also isn't really Gregman? ideal. <laughs> He's Gregman. M. Bragg on the web SMB. We knew it would happen someday. <laughs> Everyone knew it was gonna be me though. Well. We all knew. We've been there. We all knew. <laughs> it was gonna be me or you. One of us was getting pregnant, so. <laughs> oh god, we're trying. <laughs> Oh my god, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of lore. <laughs> oh, there's so, much, there's so much fun lore for you to discover. <laughs> you won't want to discover it when you found it, but it's there. There's some funky mountains Would you around here. If you could lay eggs in the way that a bird does, would you eat the egg? IRL. I mean, I'll be honest, bird, the birds that lay the eggs do typically eat their own eggs, especially if they're not fertilized, so I guess, yes. I think it would be fine. My... so we have a tortoise. My family has a tortoise. The My dad tortoise, hasn't eaten the eggs. 
didn't know you uh, could eat tortoise eggs. I don't know. That's if you a can. revelation for me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> he has. Uh, you know what? Good for him. He's like he's gone out of the way. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna eat this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Good for you. I guess. I mean, it's not kind of thinking that discovered cow's milk. Yeah. 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 Free food glitch, kind of true. Wait. Let's call farming. <laughs> Free food glitch. I planted seeds and it made plant, and plants got fruit. Oh, um, gee, not clickbait. Not clickbait. Infinite food glitch. I'm like, I did actually see someone try and basically sell tomatoes as a free food glitch once on like tiktok because he, he would take a slice of his tomato and just put it in dirt because it had seeds in it and then eat the rest of the tomato <laughs> and then he'd be like look guys i got more tomato he's like do you yeah <laughs> do you know how a plant works <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like that that idea where there's actually a surprising amount of people that like they'll have like apple trees or something similar in their yard. This is ritual specifically, mostly. Being like, yeah, that's an ornamental apple tree because it's decorative. You can't actually eat the apples though because they're on the tree. It's like that's, that's incorrect. But you're wrong. <laughs> you're, 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 you're wrong, wrong. for that. Sorry, but farming you... didn't have to cook me that bad. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Apologies. Apparently, <laughs> it's been eight years since I went to farm school. That's you crazy. Farm also, school? no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Shrine bird law unlocked. Never said before. came up on my like my like facebook you know when it tells you like this thing happened a billion years ago yeah it, yeah yeah it's like damn it's been a while i get like flashbanged every now and then with like old web smp stuff and um what else and like card game stuff every now and then it's like did you know you started your card game this many years ago? I'm like, no, I didn't, nor did I need to, but thanks. <laughs> I didn't want to know. I'm in a hole. Hello? There are men here. <laughs> oh. My cat just fell and used me to stop his fall with a claws. I'm, I'm glad to inform that I am dead. Oh, R.I.P. I'll put you in my graveyard. That's convenient, I just built a graveyard. <laughs> Dude, when um, I crumble... That's for your crumble is only, so... <laughs> yeah, subs only get to go in the graveyard. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> if you don't subscribe, then you're forgotten. <laughs> your death will be not remembered. This is an overly complex pathway. Let me out of my door, please. Yeah, there you go. You can have you can have this grave right here. Perfect. <laughs> What's the real estate like? Um, you got two blocks on either side. Wall behind you. You're facing outwards, unlike the rest of the graveyard, which is facing inwards mostly. All right, that actually that that's a selling point right That's there. Not bad. Yeah. yeah, pretty good. My God, I'm getting so Sub much more deep sleep. <laughs> Subs go to the graveyard, followers become fertilizer. Damn, this is just like <laughs> called the <a> lap. <laughs> I I accidentally needed to make a grave site for my followers the other day. I mean, you need them anyway. No, you don't. You do. No, why? But unless you get, unless you get the thing that where they don't, don't die. No, I just eat them. Oh. Oh, that, yeah. That you could also do that, I guess. <laughs> I didn't do that, so. 
Yeah, I pretty much whenever a follower, well, ideally none of my followers die of natural causes. <laughs> so first off, take that down. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Uh -huh. People dying of old age actually makes me lose faith. So I, <laughs> I make it so my followers all are either sacrificed, ascended, or killed in battle. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and I, if they somehow do die, like, from old age accidentally, I eat them. But I accidentally prepared a body for burial instead of harvesting them once, I'm like, shit. I can't just leave this body in the, in the corner of my base. I can't do that. You get stinky. So I had to build a mausoleum just to stick it in there, just in case. It's a big old hole, what the fuck? This is wrong. This is wrong. What has happened here? There's my coast. Okay, lovely. At least I'm done. Cold flame is so funny. I, I, God, I was talking to, to a friend yesterday about other games that I play probably, not inherently wrong, but inherently funny. <laughs> and I was telling them about it. Yeah, so... I did play Bloodborne for a while, and yeah, I spent like a good few hours just- I didn't die at the very beginning, because I just skipped past that first guy. And then I just basically was exploring and running away from a lot of things for like three hours, three to four hours. Because like, I didn't realize that you only get your weapons if you enter like the dream escape effectively. So I was just wandering for like hours being like, well, I'm picking up bullets. I'm sure eventually I'll find a gun. You will. <laughs> <laughs> you will not. <laughs> I have a very unique way of playing games. Imposter syndrome. What about I imposter used to like syndrome? in chat. Oh. Uh, I used to like feel that, and then I was like, "Wait, I don't care." <laughs> just, Wait a minute. I'm making stuff fuck. anyway. It doesn't matter. I'll make whatever I want, and if it's bad, then holy fuck, two cakes, as the comment goes. Mm -hmm. Exactly as such. I'll be honest, did not realize this is a better archaeology structure. Yeah, I'd be sipping alright. I haven't eaten any of my grapes. Eat your grapes, boy. I use a graves with a V. No, that's called Eat your graves, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different game. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have a cannibal cult, sorry to say. It is very get funny. Get in line. Though. What was that? Get in line. Exactly. <laughs> it, it was very funny because it's like, yeah, I can just make it so if anyone uh, gets dissenting, I can just feed them my followers and eventually they have a chance to just not be dissenting anymore. If I get a chicken, I end stream. Keep going. <laughs> I might skip my break today because I don't think we have any food in the house, so there's no point in me going to get dinner. If I just go straight from this to lethal. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
I've learned you can use nature's aura to make apples into eggs. Don't know how that, that works, but... Doesn't seem right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like you can, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, the bamboo farm looks really cool. I do need to actually build a proper area for a control control space, but I'm not there yet. But I can just do the like <laughs> making noises. Uh, there you. Oh fuck! I unmuted. My bad. How fucking dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's been weird on stream again. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about beatboxing. If you allow. <laughs> What's this? Oh no, I did this already. Beatbox? No. Damn. Cringe. Can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I just think I can do like the uvula thing, like, <sighs> that's all I got. I can do like a bit of a like metal growl, and that's about it. It's fun. I was thinking about this the other day when I was, I was working on uh, tuning the vocal synth thing. And like, there's a there's a feature where you can add like a little bit of, like a tiny little bit of vocal fry to it. And I know I have vocal fry in my like general speaking because people make fun of me for it. Um, exactly but I can't do vocal fry right? at all. It's like, uh, like this, like the way that, like Valley Girls speak <laughs> with the oh, crumbling okay, okay. noise. Oh. I don't know how to describe it. Show the metal growl. You've been requested. Perform for me, monkey. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Yeah, something. Creepy. Oh, it's creepy. Oh, scared me. You welcome. It was less of a metal ground and more like I'm being hunted by a creature, but <laughs> I liked it. You're welcome. I need some flowers, I think. Hope Zombie you... from Minecraft, for real. Hope you enjoyed. Oh. Yeah, that was more of a throaty one, but you know. Mm. I don't exactly practice it. You should. Get into being a metal vocalist. I'm not doing that. <laughs> that that can be how you debut. <laughs> Apparently that's chest based and if you vocalize it, it's good. So get on that shit, brother. Alright. <laughs> I wish I could sing. That's like if I was like offered um anyone like powered I could I could gain, I would love to be able to just sing. It's just, I've never been able to do it. You gotta do a karaoke night. God, no. <laughs> we don't want that. What are you talking about? You had a beautiful voice when you sang earlier. <laughs> yep, there was a truly, every single note was on key. You have the <laughs> ears. I wasn't trying, to be fair, but still. Not metal, since metal vocals are either false chords or vocal fry. I don't know any of these things. <laughs> I feel like I should know more about singing. I've been Probably. making music for about nine or ten years, and I don't know shit about music. I've never really done like vocals and stuff. Though. I just I've always used you know vocal synth stuff. I'm just running around. What am I doing? What do I need to add to this? What else is in a graveyard? Flowers. Rose. Yes. We both right. I could put little rocks in. That would be a good idea. Oh, I hear your singing voice. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> I mean, I can try. What if I if I genuinely try? Please don't make fun of me. Okay. What should I sing? 
Magnus is a classic. Like you said to Hoshi, the Shika Mete Hoshi, the Shika Ina no Nain Dato, Omoa Sete Kisoshi, the Nerika Ete Hoshi, Miwaku no Taki Ni Oishire, Oborete Hitaino. None of that was on pitch. <laughs> Literally none of it. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Oh, my dad. As fun as I was, I was very <laughs> distracted because I was literally dangling over Lala with a grappling hook. Ah, uh, perfectly appropriate <laughs> timing for Magnet. <laughs> <laughs> the highest control is insane. Give me a voice. I <laughs> thank you for the compliment. I know it's not good. <laughs> God, I'll, whenever I do do sing, I usually have to pitch down a lot of things. Hmm. Especially with like um, a lot of the music I listen to, it's like, all right, fuck this, I'm going down an octave. <laughs> I, I feel like I've got like a medium. I don't think I can go particularly high or particularly low. I'm not like I don't go super low, but I mean, I just don't have I just don't have the vocal range really. Uh, hence yeah. why a lot of when I talk is very monotone. It it just comes across that way. Yeah, the same for me really. I have this pleasure of being a trans girl with a deep voice, so my eyes are dead. I prefer like deep voice like singers though. That's why all, all the vocal singers I buy are like dudes, because they have like um. There's something really nice about like a nice, you know, solidly deep voice. Yeah. Um, and it's the same with like female singers. It's like, I I I can't really. Honestly, I've got bad hearing, and I can't really hear high pitch too well, and it like really irritates my ears. So whenever I like, like all my favorite like vocalists have like really deep voices. I have been told that my voice is like goals for some people, and I don't really know what part of it makes it that though. Like, I'm not exactly sure what people like about my voice. I know I do tend to have a relatively smooth and flowing voice effectively, just cause mm. I'm Californian. That, that just comes with territory. <laughs> but, um, as well as I have a low voice, so. Yeah, I mean, I've said it before. You've got a sexy voice. I do. Let's, I do. let's not bleed around the bush. I am aware. But I don't, that's I have to go down an octave when I sing, which kind of makes me dysphoric. Yeah, rip. Mm. That's the problem. I used to really want like a much deeper voice, but I'm kind of, kind of happy with where my voice is now. I haven't really done much to it. I think getting my throat really fucked up um, definitely made it deeper, which I kind of liked, but unfortunately now it also just hurts all the time, so. Mm. Because, context, I had a surgery on my throat when I was younger, and it, like, damaged it. Well, it damaged it, then I had to get surgery, and then it was, you know, forever damaged, but... <laughs> Voices are weird, let's all communicate in Morse code. God, if only I knew Morse code. <laughs> okay, I don't know what else to, like, add to this. I feel like the flowers aren't really adding much. Uh, if you want some urns, I do have a decent amount of urns. I think it would be a pretty good idea, like pots and stuff. <laughs> Stupid thing I did okay. recently somehow. Apparently I can crack my trachea. Ooh. It, it's oh. not good. It actually was very <laughs> uncomfortable, but it was like, didn't know I could do that. Gotta be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't know that was at all possible. I was supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> Party trick. Party trick. <laughs> God. Be like, um... Uh, I'm hypermobile, which means I actually can, like, move my trachea left and right, actually. Which <laughs> actually gives me a decent more vocal range than would be expected from doing that. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. Can I get some urns off you, actually? That would be a pretty good yeah. idea. Yeah, uh, I've just been storing them a bit because, I mean, I have them. Just swing on by. I'll let you come here. How? What can do you? <laughs> I'm well, you can, you can commentate on my work. Alright, sure, I can do that. Um, let's see, where are my urns anyway? Oh, do you when want some... Someone says people mostly think hip-hop, but I think the most common drum is uh, drum and bass and house and dubstep. Yeah, 
I mean, I think you can do like any of the like more electronic-y kind of, or like less um, traditional genres. I you can do it with beatbox. Yeah. I don't want to get into DJing, but then immediately Twitch introduced like the new DJ thing, which I think actually makes it harder to DJ without getting copyrighted, without having to like spend a bunch of money. So mm -hmm. kind of, I'm iffy on that now. But it seems like a fun idea. I do also. I have really terrible music taste, though. Yeah, let's grab one of these. Okay. So I something I have considered, honestly, I have considered lowering my voice a bit, just for funsies. Mm. But also, I know my my voice is very. It, by default, it's not intensely low, but it can be lower. I think it'd be funny to, to just really just go whole hog into it and just drop it. Yeah, get like a full on like. Is that guy Cobbs? I think so. His throat's just fucked up though. Yeah, he does have like a disease, so. Yeah, you could do voice training and just really slam that shit down, but it's already like pretty deep. I don't know how much further you could really the go. The thing is, though, if I manually do it, you've mentioned this before, but if I manually lower my voice, I just sound like a straight guy. You do. You sound. <laughs> you do <laughs> sound like some like dude. I sound like my brother, who's <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking dude, bro. That's it. <laughs> Hello, I have arrived. Ah. Welcome. Alright, I'm on it, Chief. <laughs> anyway. Well? I got some urns. Thank you. Very nice. Would you like to be in the grave? Also, I did bring some pottery <laughs> shirts. Oh, nice. See, if... Sure. Yeah, um, I don't actually have a crafting table. Oh, yeah, see, you've done these. Why, it's, why, am, I, why am I snorting cocaine? Uh, guess who put that there? <laughs> I can guess. Yeah, but I kind of started the interior. I don't know if I like it. Where is your fucking craft table? There it is. I sound like a straight guy, the horrors. <laughs> straight canvas would kind of be a nightmare. Oh, these are not stackable. <laughs> Fuck off. How day? Yeah. Uh, we also got these, though. Ooh, big pot. They don't really match the color palette as well as the urns, though, so. Yeah, I feel like the urn. Uh, oops. The urn's kind of. Oops. Oh. I'm I'm full of decorated pots now. I kind of don't want these, gonna be honest. <laughs> I'll put them in my storage. I know you're supposed to be able to actually put items into these, but I think there's some mod that makes it so you can't. Mhm. Mm yeah, I, I tried to. I put some up in my little bedroom up there, and I, I couldn't uh, couldn't figure out how to make it work. So I guess it just broken. I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, here's a few urns. Uh, you do have to pick them up with Silk Touch. Lovely, thank you. Otherwise I they do, do just touch. shatter. Shatter? Shatter. Shatter. I put them on like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> that's not correct. You know, I think, oh Oops. god. Well, that, you that was not correct you either. just wangled the entire fucking wall. <laughs> I just busted a hole. Um. Yeah, my pickaxe is a bit too strong. I mean, Consider that hole busted. <laughs> oh, you have the book. <laughs> uh, there's one over the inside. I'll get that one. Thanks. That was not intentional. What if I like that? Oh, hey, no, hey, it falls. Hey, how's it going? Okay, how's well, it going? That's not ideal. We're doing okay. well, though. Doing well, though. Got a decent amount of progress done on some industrial stuff. Now we're just kind of hanging out right now. Traditional well, genres are possible things with lots of percussion because percussion is the easiest thing to do in beatbox. Yeah, I can imagine. I think you could probably do any genre in beatbox if you like figured it out hard enough. Oops, it counts and boots and caps. That's all I can do. <laughs> I think that's all everyone can do is the boots and cats. And cats. <laughs> boots and cats and boots and cats. Um, where do I actually put these? That's not I don't. I'll be. Ah, there's a hole here. <laughs> there is. Anyway. That is my mind. I don't really. 
I don't really know what qualifies as beatboxing, I'm gonna be honest, like... Can you do the... you know? Yeah. I guess like any like mouth sound that you do musically could the mouth potentially sounds. be considered. <laughs> the mouth noises. I don't uh, I do also just have bricks on me, so we can make some little actual just pots. Hmm. I feel like they shouldn't be like behind graves. That seems like a weird thing to put behind a grave. Yeah. <laughs> Just spam sounds. Yeah. I feel like the graves are be probably better with pots to put the plants in, maybe. Unless That's you're trying to go for more of an overgrown feel rather than. Yeah, it kind of is. Do you want this to seem like a grave that's in grave site that's in use, or are you more so looking for a place that's been abandoned? Um, in use, but like, you know, natural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think we could probably put like a couple of pods on the graves. That's a good idea. Let's see what other like, flowers are here. I don't have a good selection of flowers right now. I did want like a flower hunt at some point. I'm gonna put some puppy. That wouldn't really work. That wouldn't work. What are you saying? Oh. Oh. I forgot that you can just slap things in the urns. So <laughs> be careful around those. You will just lose your stuff to them. Mm hmm. Anyway, I put a pot over here. Ah, very nice. It's a it. good pod. Uh, nice. <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this has the skull and the potion pottery shirt on it. Very nice. I really don't have a lot of these shirts, to be honest. <laughs> and I, I might have a couple, I think. But I'll have to see if I can fish them out wherever I put them in my. Yeah, you only get them through archaeology. Giant chest. Yeah. Anyway, come, tell me what you think of my organ, by the way. If you think it's shit, like I think it's shit. Well, let's take a look from like the way you would see it. Yeah, if you look from a distance, it looks okay. <laughs> if you like squint, because you can't really see it through the pillars. <laughs> yeah, from here it's kind of okay. Honestly, having the um, having the piano that's already there. I think honestly makes it worse. Yeah, I think so. I might just put looms in there, like you know. Yeah, that I makes more sense. Be better. Beatbox. Any noises made by only the phonetic organs of a person with the intent of being musical. So once again, I am right. Technically, singing <laughs> is beatboxing, though. I guess. That gave me. Well, you tried one. Oh, she loves it. Wonderful. <laughs> I have to do something about it with this little, oh. little, little front table bit, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> Miku is here to harvest. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you haven't heard me actually uh, lower, lower my voice, so I, I can probably do it. Perform. God, I don't know how to perform. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's, that's kind of, god, yeah, I do fucking just sound straight. You sound like a gym bro. <laughs> it kind of sucks, honestly. You just become like a jog. <laughs> it's real fucking weird. I lose even more expressiveness when I actually lower my voice. It's kind of weird. I don't think I can go very low. I think this is like oh, the lowest god. I can go. <laughs> But it just gets really like monotone when I do this. I'll, I'll, and it I, hurts. I, I prefer being expressive. <laughs> Yeah, let's let <laughs> our normal very expressive hey, Drake, selves. Going, and expressive is not a um, <laughs> code word. <laughs> I've been called bass boosted. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> yeah, well, come on in. How's it going? How's it going? Hope yeah, I did fill this time. with um, all those seats that crashed it before, so, you know, hopefully they don't do that again. Yeah, I <laughs> 
<laughs> I think they're fine now. We're happy. We have a lot less uh, issues with that. Yeah, they do seem to be working. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll probably just. I'm gonna replace this with looms. It, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think having the both of them just doesn't fit. But yeah, one or the other probably would be better. How the fuck do you make a loom? You could actually use them. Yeah. That'd be nice. I mean, there are some like instrument mods that you can actually play. Right, I need to actually go back to my base and gather up some materials. I need to get myself a. What do I need? I need a lectern. I need. I know I need a lectern. I know I need a ton of deep slate. And then with that, I also need rails, but the rails come later. I was probably should just gather deep slate for now. Because I just need so much of it. All the limbs look so much better. <laughs> awesome, Drake. If you're still here, you get to actually see what my uh, Minecraft base is looking like. It's my, it's my kind of like starter base. It's relatively, it's a decent size, but it's kind of small for me because I'm running out of space already. So I'm currently working on an industrial zone. What? They put some behind these. Is that how that works? I forget. I love this base. It's so nice. Uh, did you see I actually managed to... Um, what was it? I finished off the actual outside finally. Ooh, I'll come over and have a look in a second. Let me just get to a higher vantage point. Oh. Ow. I've got rails on this floor like a second keyboard or will it look stupid? That's the real question. Oh, where am I? Oh, apparently so I just simply can't. It's so hard good height on this thing. Apparently it's simply impossible. Oh. Well. <laughs> ah, there we go. What do you know? Well, I'm in the sky now. <laughs> Wait, I'll bring mango. It's probably a good idea. Here's my board. Oh, wait, I, I forgot. I, ha I haven't had my actual shaders on for a while because I've been doing technical stuff. Oh, his eyes are naked. There we go. <laughs> I can show you the world. I can show you the world as I take fall damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm oh, really loving this place. That's inside. super cool. I'm flying in. It's this overgrown, like, ruined temple. It's really nice. Yeah, specifically, though, this top part up here, though, is what I did very recently. Adding in the actual like foliage and the overgrowth, then you like actually able to step inside and get this, the gorgeous look of effectively this, this one little thing that has been keeping all of these the plant life alive, plant life alive in here. Oh, it does look nice. It's really come together. Oh, okay, messed up. It's so pretty. So nice. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> it does look really good. Yeah, I'm also super proud of it. Dude, I need to get some fucking leaves in my base, man. <laughs> I was saying this to Valk earlier. Uh, the, 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 no matter how bad a Minecraft build looks, you fix it immediately just by putting some leaves on it. <laughs> it's something I've been specifically trying to do with this base is I'm trying to actually incorporate light and shadow into my block palettes more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you said. Yeah, like, specifically it's with the leaves and, and a little bit the walls most up here. Because, like, if you look in this corner, I've specifically used darker leaves as well as darker <laughs> blocks in the very corners to show that, like, yeah, obviously the centerpieces are going to be much more lit so it makes sense that having these little edges around here being dark works out a lot better i haven't mm -hmm. done a ton of it i actually want to do more it's just this block palette doesn't super lean into that but like from a distance though you don't notice those differences in blocks you just see the shadow mm -hmm. yes very nice yeah I've, I've been honestly doing I've been considering doing effectively like art studies, but with Minecraft recently. I think it could be <laughs> really useful. Yeah, 
Joss. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. I do like the top bit as well. That's very nice. Yeah, it, it was fine when it was just kind of complete, but now that it's actually like in the ruined state, it's much nicer. It, mm. it also looks really good when you're actually up there. I've yeah. been trying to focus on smaller details as well. So being able to actually have these little bits and pieces is really nice. Oh. Speaking of, this finally grew, so I can actually snip it. Why not? How did you, do you have like a magnet or something? <laughs> I do have a magnet ring on. Okay. Yeah, if you want any of these like ancient flowers, I'm probably going to uh, sell them soon. I'm just trying to make yeah. it so my, I probably need a couple more sniffers actually in that little sniffer farm. But that, that's later. They are nice flowers. I think honestly the, the blue one, what's, what's it called? Uh, that's the pitcher plant. The pitcher plant? I think that's honestly my favorite Minecraft flower. It's, it's really nice. nice. I think it honestly looks the best when it's still a crop though, because yeah. the bulb mm. specifically makes it really stand yeah. out. And the fact that you can uh, put string above it, and you can kind of have like two stages without it growing, mm -hmm. it's super cool. Nice for details. It's very versatile. I really wish they had like a couple more flowers with the sniffer though. The fact yeah, that, that would be good. Yeah, there's only yeah. two. Considering it's this whole thing, it would yeah. be kind of nice. And like, it, it was not a small feat to get those. Yeah. It's definitely like, possible to add more. Yeah! Like, they even had like a special lichen that they were going to add, and then they didn't. And I'm honestly yeah. more mad because of that. Yeah. I'm still mad about fireflies, man. I'm still on that. That's fair. Oh, yeah. At least this pack has fireflies. It does? I didn't see them. Really? I see them all the time. And they, they're like biome specific. Oh. oh. But, Are you talking like about these... the little glowing orb? Yeah. These things? Well, no, there, there's the this... glowing orbs which are from nature's aura. Yeah. But there's also oh, like okay. fireflies and some... Like, like that right there, that's nature's aura. But um, there's also firefly particle effects in some biomes. I guess I just haven't noticed them. <laughs> right, I am Lecter. going to be late for Lisa, like. so let's get back, man. I have an okay man deep slate. I'm gonna need more, so let's just go and do that. Hello. I'll break my legs every step of the way to the mines. <laughs> also, I do actually need a decent amount of redstone too. This could be a good idea for me to actually do some proper like strip mining. Hello. There's a dog after me. Hi. Hi, Hey. Thank you. Doesn't look quite how I imagined. It. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's this it's space, you know. Maybe if I had some like bushes around, I would enhance its vibe. I don't know. I don't have any torches. No one's gonna be able to see anything. Yeah. You know what you could use? Hmm. The wild hops is like really bushy. That is Ooh, true. Okay. So it might be good to add texture. That's a good idea. Okay, I have some. I can also put some. Out here with them yeah. good ideas. Right. Oh wait! Hi. I haven't seen Hatsune Miku. Oh yeah, come see me. Come see me. Come pray to our Lord and Savior. Wow, beautiful. Yes, I'll, I'll I'll do um like a proper statue version of her skin and do that. But for now, just colorful Miku. Why is why is Camus, Oh. Yeah, I about put this here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Kate. Don't worry about it. That's fine. <laughs> I'll get rid of it later. <laughs> but not now. Yeah, it's, it's um, it's called like straw statue, and you can like mm. put any like skin on it, and 
Yeah, they're very, very cool. Yeah, there's a very similar mod that we also have that lets you kind of like pose armor stands really easily. <laughs> yeah, I've used, I used that in my bakery actually. Nice, nice, nice. I like the organ. I think it looks good. <laughs> it looks better with the looms actually. I originally had a piano in there and I, it wasn't working. Do the but actually, with better? the looms, it does help. They do look better. That's good. I like it. It's kind of very nice. Thank you. Oh, I could actually have a jukebox in the back here. But I am going to be late for lethal, so I'm going to get killed out. Um, Alright. <laughs> Alright, All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> I dropped a pickaxe into my... There it is. As cool as the colossal chests are, they are god-awful for organizing. Oh my gosh, yes. I have a, a mod that lets me... Oh. Welcome back, Shrine. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mod that, let, that lets me organize chests, and I just lag. Like, my game just freezes for a full, like, 10 seconds if I'm trying to organize the colossal chests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I need to get Deep Slate. So, yeah, we're gonna go actually strip mining for the first time in a long while. Were you the one that built like little tents on the side of pathways? I did not actually. Surprisingly, that wasn't me. Okay. I was expecting it to be either Kara or Punk Wasp, I think. Mm. Uh, probably need some respirators. So. I have an extra respirator, I think. Yeah, it's got a breaking as well, so we're good. Okay, so we need to go gather some deep slate, and we'll be good. Honestly, it might be a better idea to mine just in a completely different location. We can start mining in the industrial district place because no one's around there. And the area where I'm currently mining is mostly blackstone rather than deep slate. So we're not going to get what we want anyway. Are you in the nether? Uh, no. Oh. My, yeah, my base is on, my like home base is on magmatic caves. So, oh. uh, yeah. It's all magma and uh, blackstone under my base. Oh, okay. Honestly, kind of sucks, especially with the thin air mod. I straight up cannot breathe in those areas specifically because like, oh, well, I guess this entire place is on fire. Ugh. A little bit rough. Gonna I, it. <laughs> I've like stopped taking suffocation damage. I don't know why. Like I don't, I just, I just don't drown, and I don't suffocate from altitude. Um, what kind of armor do you wear? Um, just like basic, like random armor, but they don't have any of the, the um, gems or anything. Do you have a turtle but, shell on it at all? Mm mm. Hmm. Even I died at one point. And I was having to travel back to my, my corpse my stuff mm -hmm. and I was swimming underwater and I was I didn't have anything on me and I was just fine that is weird yeah I don't know why still a jellyfish apparently yeah <laughs> where did I go oh I might as well gather some coal over here, why not? Yeah, main goal though is redstone and deep slate, because I'm going to need a lot of both. Eh, 
And I got the health. Ow. Also, we, if we find another iron vein as well, that could be really good. Because I'm starting to run low on iron, which is very bad. Yeah, I I asked Harper and he said I could, so I've just been taking from Harper's text. Because mm. <laughs> I have like nothing. No iron. Yeah, I found like one iron vein, which gave me over like nine stacks of iron ore blocks. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm set for the next while. <laughs> Although now that I started like actually doing things with specifically hoppers, it's like, well, I, <laughs> I, I use, I think three stacks of hoppers today. So oh that's 15 stacks yeah. of iron right there. Hoppers are so expensive. Yes. yes. Oh my are. gosh, I I use them for my bridge and I just... Oh my gosh. I s your bridge is also made of lecterns, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... So, you know like the transmutation thing with Nature's Aura? Yes. I, I bought like rotten flesh from Kara and I used my own and I just had like five stacks of rotten flesh. I drained the aura from an entire from an area entirely, and I had to move, like the shrine or whatever, to re for more aura. And I was just uh, transforming the uh, uh, rotten flesh into leather. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. <laughs> I used like five stacks or something. Redstone, perfect. Yeah, I haven't messed around a lot with Nature's Aura. I, I did play with it a decent amount, just not on the web SMP. But like, mm. it's a really cool mod. It has a lot of utility. Nature's yeah. Mending is a slow enchantment, but it is really useful. What is it? What does it do? It just says it uses aura, but so. I don't you can get an item that allows you to have a have aura on your person, and so it'll drain that aura cash rather than the um, aura of the world, oh. and it'll repair your items using that. That's cool. Yeah, it, it actually works pretty well. Uh, everyone with apotheosis really hates it though. <laughs> oh. Because like I'd rather just have them days. Like, fair enough. Yeah, I remember that conversation, yeah. Water. God, I love how the sculpt looks with this resource pack. It's very spooky. Ooh. What resource pack is it? Sorry, not resource pack, shader pack. It's just the BSL shaders. But like, oh, okay. it's so cool. Do I really need amethyst for anything right now? Not really, I'm not gonna gather it. I do actually. Could you just get like one please for me? Sure, how much do you need like the amethyst shards or do you want the actual like, crystals? I just need an amethyst shard because I need a spyglass for one of the advancements. Okay. There so is if you go to back if you go over to my base, you can actually grab an amethyst shard from my colossal chest, you're welcome to. Oh, if you can cool, find it. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, 
I just found a geode completely filled with skulk. It looks wild. Oh, she just found a screenshot in the Discord. Alright, let's see. Da, da, da. get some different shader packs though as well just because i've only really played with bsl shaders before but i'd love to actually experiment with others hello shrine what do you want <laughs> oh <Hi>. god <laughs> sorry can you uh, it's an interesting reaction to my voice um <laughs> I, I just realized i'm stupid and that lethal's not for like an hour so okay i'm back okay <laughs> hey, hi my, uh, uh, and I wasn't oh, going to take a break today, so... My oh god was to the fact that I triggered a Skulk Shrieker. Uh, so you can't be that stunned by me. Check out the screenshot of the Geode I just posted, <coughs> though, in the Discord. It's really cool, actually. Ooh. That is cool. I've never yeah, seen that happen before. Actually, Packer, I use Packer, I like the 3D. Yeah, I use Vanilla Tweaks. I I honestly really like the vanilla textures, but I like Vanilla Tweaks because it does just augment it a little bit to make it a little more interesting. Yeah, it's cool. I've done like five different things today that have like <laughs> ruined my throat. Yeah. Yeah. None of the exciting ones. Too bad. I know. I mean, we can. We got eh, time. I'm busy. <laughs> okay. I'm gathering redstone. <laughs> Ooh. It's way more important. How's your thingy going? gonna be the warden after me. It is very scary Ooh. down here, I'm gonna be honest. Creatures. You should just bring the warden up, hang out with him. I've considered just bringing him to someone's base for fun. <laughs> Release him upon the population. You gotta give him a name and bring him over to like Carp's house. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Harp's house is up an island, so if you can get it up on the island... <laughs> yeah, you probably won't jump off. Oh, this is mm -hmm. a gorgeous skull game. What the fuck? Sorry, do the BSL shaders really makes the skull like, look It's really alien? nice. Yeah. It's really nice. The skull caves are so dark without shaders as well. Yeah. Are you yeah, they are. Mm, you can't shear as well as bushes, that's it. Ooh. Those. You know me out here just shaking my pants, apparently. <laughs> You're shitting any person. What a day. 
shit. Oh shit! Oh, something happened. <laughs> you good? I have awoken him. Oh. I'm really glad we don't have the mod that makes a voice mod also activate. <laughs> we should get that. It'd we should be get that. really funny, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here, Mr. Warden. Leave me alone. Honestly, with like the grappling hook and like the spider pants combo, it's like so easy to like get away from him. I'm not even like worried about him. I'm not even worried about him. Like, he's nothing to me. I, on the other hand, am worried. <laughs> I don't need you making ominous sounds of me right now, Minecraft. I'm running away. <laughs> this seems to be the perfect time for it. Oh, here I am. No, fuck off. Stop shrieking! <laughs> what the hell is that? That's not- that- I- no! <laughs> oh, is it the Alex's mob thing? No, it's a boss version of the Warden. What? Oh, awesome. Wait, can I see him? I want to see him. I don't what? know how that would manage- that I ran part. away! <laughs> I'm not staying! I'm sorry Take to say- Take I left! That's so cool, though. Did you go back? No! Pussy. Yes! <laughs> I'm just a little dude trying not to get his shit absolutely fucked by a warden today. I do not yeah, that need- that one of us. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> Sorry to say, I do not need a warden to rock my world today. I'm very busy. Real ones make time. That's so true. <laughs> I forgot that one was still there. You know, I'm here. Sir, can you fucking leave me alone? Oh, it's impossible. I'm gonna just see if I can still use some my hands. Are there any shriekers in this area, or just catalysts? It looks like it's just catalysts. I'm gonna take these for no particular reason. I should draw the board in pot again. You should. I agree. Have a Sorry, what was that? You'll never get to the microphone broke. Microphone said no. I'm s you are online? Uh, okay, there's three people I don't have to... I don't have to skip it this time. We just gotta deal with it. Oh, no. There's a big field of skull. I might just avoid it, actually. <laughs> I don't feel like summoning the third warden today. Oh, 
always forget the moons make noises. They do? They do? Yeah, you know when it's like a, like a lucky moon or whatever, it goes like a aww noise. Oh, I didn't notice that. And then, and then on the blood moon it's like crickets and creepy noise. Our rune has woken. These guys pay attention to Minecraft like I do. I'm, I'm aware. I've got my yeah, senses not. turned up. I be. I'm just better. Oh, creeper. Oh, creeper. oh man. Oh man. Why the pixie shit? They don't fight or anything. They just stand there. Uh, they're supposed to just slam into something and give them a random status effect. Well, they don't do that. Who? <laughs> Pixies. The pixies. Pixies? Yeah. Yeah, They're you can get a weapon now. that's like. Yeah, you get a weapon that like spawns pixies. Oh. I was looking for pixies to like put on a lead or something. But I guess they just no. spawn just from a weapon. Yeah. They're quite cute. They're, they're very like. What's the little bitch from Zelda? Navi? Navi? Navi, that's the one. Kind of look yeah. like that. Sorry for calling her a bitch, but. <laughs> I gave you two! Oh my double. god, you gave me two! <laughs> Ooh, baby, it's double. I thought I was gonna have to use a netherite. Up, netherite smithing template upgrade and netherite to duplicate it. Goddamn. <laughs> but I don't! Yippee. I do like the Let's Do mods for decor. I think they're actually really nice. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I keep thinking it was a man in my house, but it is just magic. I'm a snorting coat. Cool. <laughs> I can plant those. I don't like that. But... Good to know. Mm -hmm. I'm just snorting coke in your <laughs> at church. I yeah, mean, just... yeah. Pretty cash. I can't plant those. Can I get bushes? You know, it'd be really cool if those wardens that want to blast my ass were not here anymore. Well, kind of get what we want. I should like make it a little bit bigger. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> oh, there goes my respirator. Luckily, this one has Unbreaking 3 and Nature's Mend. Wow, look at this guy. I think it also has other modifiers. Yeah, it's my Hellborn Respirator of Protection. Because apparently you could do that. <laughs> Interesting. I don't need to enchant my um, helm better, actually. You just reminded me. I do need to actually use one of my netherites specifically to upgrade my um, reforging table. That is something I need mm. to do at some point. The one like right next to your bed, watch yeah. you on the head in the middle of the night. Yeah, it keeps, keeps me. Uh, it gives me a nice steady rhythm, so that I know my heart's beating at the right speed. Mm -hmm. You know, with me what progressing into my late twenties. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> Wait, you, you get resistance during blood moons? Huh? I don't like get resistance during blood moons, so I didn't know that. Oh. Weird. Do you? I don't. Have it. Oh. Special little treat. <laughs> it's, it's just for you. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck off! Oh, I think it's from the banner. Oh, that's oh. very possible. That's so cool. That is cool. I didn't know I did that. Anyway, I summoned the third warden. I have so much honey. <laughs> I'm starting to understand Himi's perspective about uh, 
<laughs> the deep dark. Well, you're not like a crazy OP. It is a little bit like. Ew. Luckily, I can mostly level. just avoid it, so it's fine. But it does mean I just cannot per uh, go through these caves. Because I'm specifically mining blocks, which is sending the sound to the um, adjacent caves, which is then waking up the wardens. I know that's so helpful. An A is like an S. Sure. Ooh, that could be it. It is. I'm a genius. Are you though? Mm, that's a great question. Am I though? <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, you see. <laughs> well. No. M is like one of these things, but it's not that one. It might be that one, but it's not that. That's not an A. Do you think if I sold uh, baked goods for like one coin for an assortment of ten of whatever, would that be fair? Probably. They're, yeah, that they're makes quite sense to me, good. yeah. Okay. I was just a pain to make, usually. Yeah. Yeah, it is very tedious. Thunder. I kind of want to get into the baking stuff, but I just have Like many things in Minecraft, I just simply have not. I definitely really want to get into, um, what's that one called? Pneumaticraft. I think Pneumaticraft is going to be a mm. big one for me. I want to play with the I drums. don't understand how it works. <laughs> it's just pressurized air, it's fine. Yes, chemist, I understand. That. Just think of the, the pressurized air as electricity and that can leak and you're good. Or explode. That doesn't help. Oh. That's frightening. Am I stupid? Yeah. I can't find this. Wait, is that it? Yeah, there we go. I found magnetronic, but not magnetic. Or whatever it was, magnet. I just I have no idea. I haven't been looking, I guess, for like anything related to uh, <laughs> the Spelunkin, so I don't really know where anything is. I mean, I know where the memorial caves are, because that is literally on the surface. Yeah, I mean, you can see that with your shaders on. <laughs> that is also true. Light in the sky. <laughs> I got a coffee. Yum, yum. I was gonna Good for me. Baddies are out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> The baddies are out. <laughs> well, by my baby mistake. He was like this little face. Oh, I'm a bit real. I've never found one of these naturally. Oh. I'm in an ancient city. Oh shit! Look at him go. Actually, tell me where it is right now. Uh, need one of those. <laughs> 2080. Hang on, let me type it. 2080. Might have been there. But I'll make a note. Is it 2018 or 2000? Oh, wait, that's a really different place. It is. <laughs> 2080. 80. Perfect. Those scare me. Yeah, they should. <laughs> I think they're supposed to, to be better. That would make sense. <laughs> they they would that's design that, though, so. <laughs> What's in there? I guess spot the, the, like, really tall black hooded thing, and then when you hit it, it, like, bursts out. Ah, uh, the life stealer. Mm. Freaky, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that they're big, the life stealer and the missionary. 
You don't see the mobs that, that are just big like that. Very yeah. Often. Tesla. Uh, what's a T look like? I think a T is like a sideways thingy. What the hell? Oh. Oh? You, you know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just like to give you the opportunity to explain, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm a blind. No, I just clip on that randomly. I don't know if you can hear me or not. <laughs> Tessa, there we go. Bam, 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 bam. Where's my little book? Much magnetic. Kindly fuck off, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, if I'm here, I need to get Swift Sneak. Swift Sneak 3 is like... Okay. Uh, apparently there's just a chest <laughs> in the middle of the ancient city that only has a golden apple and nothing else. Damn. <laughs> bulb. Could be bulb? What is bulb? Look at that. sounds it. He's right behind you. He's sniffing me. <laughs> Mining. Mining away. Mining. Oh, look how fast that was, baby. That's the shit. There's something more to learn about this Ah, okay. He was literally behind me at that time. Good enough. That'll, that'll explain it. Subterranodon. Yes. It's a skull You this a little face. Kind of like those two. Notched together. Okay. You is like the easiest letter to look for because it just looks like a little face. Loimstone. Is that what I'm still? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. What did I say about kindly fucking off? Oh, I found oil. No. There's so many ghouls. <laughs> the beasts. The beasts are about. Seething. I think this is the first Seething. time I have like ever found a um Yeah, I do think it's the first time I ever found an actual like whatever the fuck it's called. Asian city, like naturally, as well as this is the first time I've seen one that that it like on a server in survival mode that has not already previously <laughs> been ransacked. Did I have anything modded about it? It shouldn't, no. is a really, really easy letter to look for as well because it's just the four dots. Currently. What do you mean by that? Oh, you know. <laughs> What's he going to do to the language? 
two bucks. Mario Cave secrets. Uh oh. Okay, take those. Do I have any of the jewels? Not right now. I don't really need these candles. I'll probably go without them. Alright. Time to scrounge for items again. That's blast protection four, I don't need that. The soul torches though, and the echo shards, honestly relevant. <laughs> if you got any spare echo shards. <laughs> What did you need I could use a couple again? of them. I might Expanding my enchanting thing. setup. Yeah, I haven't done that at all yet, so I also need to do that. Okay. Alright. Who just woke up? Icicle the legendary. Oh, I didn't mean to fix it out of that. Well, whatever. We can do a different word now. That was a hard one. Primitive. Lemons go easy. Why are you squeezing my lemon? Don't worry about it. Actually, speaking of, recently I realized I've never actually made a lemon meringue pie. I and like that is like the quintessential lemon dessert. I've never made it. <laughs> Dude, I love lemon meringue pie. My grandma makes that shit all the time. So good. I I do need to actually like make it just ever. I feel like lemon flavoring is like. It's so nice. Lemon I think that's about like a lemon dessert. I think lemon's my favorite flavor. It is good. I like lemon cookies. I think that's my favorite mm. lemon cookie. The lemon, um, I think they're called Savannah Smiles. Are the lemon, uh, Girl Scout cookies. Very good. It grabbed me! Oh? It's holding me! Uh oh. <laughs> Boomst. <laughs> oh, Rib. Oh. Wait, where are you? Oh. Do you need help? No, it's okay. I saw it next to my house. It like holds you up, it kills you. <laughs> rude. <laughs> it's rude. Warden is coming for me. Times. Get his ass whooped. Oh, it's a stupid word again. It's not stupid, I just couldn't find it last time. There we go, that was easy. Luckily, my insane uh, block reach with my pickaxe allows me to break streakers from like quite a distance <laughs> away. Shame if you were to come out of the shadows, it comes fucks me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm lost so in the bad. open city. That would be so terrible if a warden showed up. This is how I'm gonna <laughs> this is how I'm gonna scare them away so they don't bother me. <laughs> oh, river psychology. Exactly, exactly. They're just gonna but think I'm if... a freak and all wanna have to deal with me. <laughs> but what if they want it, Kevis? Win-win. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, I'm just clicking words now. I don't remember what B is. It's for bitch. <laughs> what do you mean it's for? Does it make any sense, Kevis? It's for the word. There isn't. Oh wait, you said your sentence was like weird deflection. I didn't understand it. 
I was calling you a bitch. Oh. I don't understand oh. that now. <laughs> well, that's not right, because that's not an E. That's a T for sure. Well, maybe. I think that's... that's I think that's a W. Why am I doing this? I don't need these things. I actually, I know there's like a proper way to enter the main building in the ancient city, but I actually, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I've never done it. I think it's via like the um, uh, like redstone stuff at the front. Like, yeah. I have to, like, make a sound. But I've never done that. Just dig it. <laughs> I feel like somebody said they added that to, like, teach people about, like, how redstone works. That's a weird place to put it, if so. Like, who's yeah. getting to that point without knowing how redstone works? Yeah. so many. It's ST, right? Yeah. It just gives you so many chances. It's gonna be a bit free form with it. Okay, so fun fact, I don't think you can access it from the outside. Looks like you have to do it from the inside. No, oh, weird. Which is weirder. Oh, there's <laughs> um... <laughs> what are these called again? <laughs> uh, copper golems in here. Oh, cute. Oh, oh one's cute. fucking dead. Oh. oh. Sad. I guess the warden killed one of them. <laughs> oh no. Sad. Oh, this is a terrible word. Candle. These letters blend so into each other. I will take these sticky pistons though. I'm, I'm hot for that. That's a C. That little I one, that's a C. But yeah. Hole. The next word was hole, but I didn't get to do it. <laughs> Tata. That's a good word. Let's look for a lot of T's. I heard him. I didn't that's see him, but strip. I did fucking run. That is Tata. Oh, I see him now. Something that I... What is it? Something that I've seen is... So, you have all these, like, little areas of the, of the ancient city that specifically are, like... What's it called? What's that called? That are covered in the light blue wool as well as... Uh, not cyan. As well as the dark oak, though. And it's very <laughs> specifically... That is supposed to be... Oh, the idea that... Sorry, there's a shrieker. Yeah, it's the idea that the illagers have actually been here before you. Tried to explore it and died trying. M L. Fuck off, please! Is this one? That's E. Maybe that is. Idol. I is looks like an I. Hopefully, that's an I. A D is like that. It's a D. D is a wiggle with a wiggle coming out the bottom. You only really need to know like two letters. Oh my I know, god! It's very helpful. If you can see my screen. Well, I actually can't see my mouse on the screen. So can you see my mouse? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? You can. Um, home. I don't have any nether fizz, sorry. 
I didn't mean to click on it. Oh, shit. I'm just clicking on completely the wrong words, but there we go. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. well. <laughs> I had multiple wardens on me. I, I there there wasn't like that wasn't happening. You could have won. You could try I could take them in a fight. Exactly. No. <laughs> 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 Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know why I did all that, but I've just done all the cape devil bits, so. Alright, get some basic armor, get some food, and we can go get our stuff at least. The egg? Yes. No chicken. I'm listening to a Spanish vocal synth cover of a Five Nights at Freddy's fan song. <laughs> Just so everyone's updated on where I'm at. Bad place mentally, it seems like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of a banger though, I'll be honest. I got some blocks, I have some food, I'm going to need a weapon and a pickaxe. This rain and on hit inflict bone fracture. Oh, Jesus! Damn. You gonna help me find out what that does? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it's about. All right, I do need a pickaxe though, so. There should be at least one spare over here. Yeah, it's um, basic ass uh, diamond pick with nature's mend. I'll take that. said the coordinates were like 2080. Oh, I need a respirator. I don't have a good way to breathe otherwise. Should probably bring an extra backpack too as a just in case. Dude, at this point I always bring like three or four backpacks whenever I go out. <laughs> Cause it's like, there's just so much stuff. Yeah, I I usually currently I'm usually doing only one backpack, but I'm doing it. Oh, okay, I usually do one backpack, but I do it with um, like six bundles. Mm, yeah, okay. I don't use bundles. So. Yeah, the bundles are really good specifically for like the jewels because you're not gonna get many duplicates, but you're gonna have a lot of instances of different jewels. I'm just mm -hmm. so glad I made it stackable. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good grapes. Those looks really cute. I finally got my grapes. They're just white. No, They're just white right. no matter what you do. But yeah. That is sad. It's all your fault. Yep. <laughs> Can you dye them? That's my last test. No, you can't dye them. It's such a tragedy. Well, I guess we have to have only white surface. I think I'll put my little, like, a living room area in, like, this space the kitchen area and then I have like an office upstairs. I think it would cute. be funny to subject everyone to only vanilla uh, building stuff 
even deck four <laughs> next season because everyone be suffering because like we've been using this for so long now. <laughs> but I, I could get back used to it if we're doing all vanilla. Hmm. Yeah. That's how I used to do it. Same. I think it could be good honestly just to do just an all vanilla one. Like just nothing added. Mm -hmm. I'll finally be able to use those random fabric mods. <laughs> like the replay mod. Yeah. Let's see, you? It was you. Oh, shit. Alright, um. It was 1, me! 1,900, and then one of 113. Should be on the other side. I'm so damn picky. That's what I need to change about my Minecraft playing. I need to be something so <laughs> picky about when I build things. The Honorable Eliza the Pyromancer has awoken nearby. Wow. Sadly, I don't give a fuck. I need my stuff back. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't care. This worms are still gonna be down there, you know? Yeah, I know. That's less of a problem, though. Is it? Yeah, because I can just sneak to my thing. As long as they're not right on it, we're okay. That's kind of useful. I need to make sure I don't just accidentally hit teleport to, because it'll just automatically send me to my body. <laughs> Yeah. I always accidentally almost do that with the nature's compass, because we're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's just the fact but that we're ops. Moderators. Yeah. But I behave. Mm -hmm. When I remember. Sometimes I accidentally click it, but yeah. nothing you can do about that. So, something that I have done in the past is I... So I'll have my, like, atlas on me. And, like, to fix something real quick, I'll go into creative mode and then not remember oh, yeah. that, oh shit, my, my map. <laughs> yeah, I've also done that. <laughs> but, again, if it's an accident, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? There really isn't that much you can do. God, my armor makes me. My armor is so slow if I'm not. If I don't have my like normal armor, what the hell? <laughs> What's worse though is the fact that like, if I don't have my usual armor, my swim speed is just nothing. It's disgusting. I want to be able. To, I want to be a fish. <laughs> mm, I, I have such fast swim speed with this armor. And every time, like, if I don't have it on, like, if I play, like, a separate world or whatever, I'm, like, so slow in the water. It feels yeah. like I'm swimming through the mud. Okay, this is about it, so I just need to dig down from here. Oh, what's Can I just change to clear the rain? I'm trying to get a picture of my day for the Discord server. Yeah, sure, whatever. Thank you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it'll come back. It'll come back. It, it'll be back very fast, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, when you're done, let me put, let me bring the rain back, actually. Okay. <laughs> I did bring in torches. Right it's gonna be a very oh, that was dark. Stupid. It's gonna be a very dark, like whatever amount of time until I get to my uh, body again. Down, but I'm picking it up again. Oh, that's the only question. Do these connect? Um, I mean, kind of. I don't like that they dangle in the middle. What do you look like? Oh, well, that's an achievement, apparently. Okay. The more you know. Table list. So I can only have blue and white tables. Interesting. Odd. Well, I guess I could have one of like the wooden ones, but the ones with the covers on, you can only, there's only blue and white ones. But. I guess those are classic colors. I'm surprised there isn't a red one though. 
At least like a red yeah. plaid. Yeah, red plaid would be cute. There you go. I think white what if I want to open up a pizza shop? Exactly. Craft of mental breakdown. <laughs> okay, I got the speed shots. Cool, cool. Anyway. It's <laughs> <laughs> raining now. <laughs> Alright, we're near we're at the deep slate layer. I think it's gonna be pretty hard to miss the ancient city, I'm gonna be honest. Well you say that, but Well I have the exact coordinates where I died, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Yeah, corpse just does that for you, so. Do they not connect that way? Interesting. God, I remember I was talking yeah. to, um, I think it was, yeah, I was talking to Dave. He's like, and he was talking about how he lost his stuff in certain ways. I'm like, have you, like, tried opening the corpse death history? He's like, the what? It's like, you know, where it shows you the exact coordinates where you die? He's like, I am so mad. <laughs> Oh shit, now I'm late for <laughs> Blue, whoopsies. You should have taken that break. I should have taken that break. Well. I'm gonna log off for now. Hmm. I'm also goodbye chemist. Enjoy all, being alone. All alone fighting the wardens. <laughs> yeah. Bye. 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 And then it was just me. All alone. Attempting to find the beasts. I am so fucking scared, by the way. I should have brought torches, though, because you guys can't see a single fucking thing on your screen. I highly... Like, I can barely see anything in the preview. My brightness is all the way up, though. Where am I? 41? 42? It's gotta be pretty soon. So yeah, it's 19, 1974, 113. So let's just go this way a little bit. Also, what height was it? Negative 51? I'm pretty much there. Hello? Is anyone home? Corpse. I don't hear any wardens. All right, well we got our good stuff again. Oh, I need to equip the actual backpack. Uh, you can have that. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Equip. Where we can drop some goodies in here. Uh, we don't we don't need the shears anymore. Take the swift sneak. These this is like backup armor that I think I would rather have. Um, I honestly don't need the nature's men diamond pick, but I will take the call of deep slate. The rest... Is there any, like, space in here? I 
All right, that actually should be in the other backpack. I honestly just kind of wanted to get rid of the muddy, <laughs> the muddy mangrove roots. So I just kind of like was like, I got it mostly because like I don't, I don't want this. So if I lose it, oh well. Okay, well we're good now. We can do go back to exploring. Take some disc fragments. I don't really want cat. I'm gonna be honest. Take candles. Name tags are nice. Whip is okay. I might grab a regen potion as a just in case. In case the same thing happens to us. I know, um... I know 60 was looking for an actual, like... Ancient City. So I might actually recommend this one. Ooh, Swift Sneak, Swift Sneak 3. Very nice. run. Okay, bye. Well, hey, we got our stuff back. That's what matters. Okay, let us take a look. Well, let's take a think first. I don't need to take a look at anything. I want to take a think. Because I need to figure out exactly, like, what is it that I need to do next? I mean, I'm, I am just exploring an ancient city, which is always just fun, don't get me wrong. Hmm. I'm not really sh I mean, I want to keep exploring this because I would like to get the echo shards because I know the echo shards are very good for actually expanding on your enchanting setup. So that is a big part of what I want to do today. Is that's also where the loop all right I think that was him leaving and I did pop the shriekers here already so we're good for that aspect the echo shards oh i did need that actually the enchanted golden apple is very nice because i was <gasps> Ooh, armor trim i do need that so let's actually hold on to this bundle i think it's probably better like such Pick. I don't need the stirs, we'll just toss that. So that one's probably pretty good. Disc fragments. Splitting. Oh, that's the that's the anvil one. That's actually very nice. Oh, what did I lose? Okay. No more candles. We're going candles. Although books, I will actually take these. Oh, I do want that armor, but once again, it's one of those things where, do I have the space to grab these? How is my horse backpack? Also quite full. Also, the smithing template can go in there. Get the whip.
think most of all I want to actually store the deep slate. Grab those. Sure, grab. Well, we don't need the coal actually. All right. Let's grab. Uh, we can actually put the cobblestone there. That way we have space in here again for random bits and pieces. So what actually are the echo shards used for? You, the, each echo shard is used on a deep shelf. Very simple to make. Which provides a lot. So 2.555 versus 2.515. Okay. It's not bad. Streaker going off. And I hear the warden spawning. I don't believe I've explored this side very much. I can't see, so I can't say, but. Actually, that side is pretty well done already. Yeah, even that chest is filled. Well, not filled, but you know. I head that way? Okay, we've done like most of this ancient city. That's that's good to know. So those are our next targets. Oh, God damn it. Already? Alright, well, let's destroy one more. If I can hit the last one before I run, that'd be fantastic. Okay. We at least destroyed all of the Shriekers in that area, so that way, once he despawns, he won't respawn when we actually get the get our chest. We also might have actually distracted. Did you see how that bounced? Anyway. <laughs> Alright, can't see a fucking thing. Okay, so that was the area we were in. Honestly, if we get like a good shot here. shards. Uh, the soul troopers are fine because we're probably going to need them in the future. I like having name tags. Less have to buy, you know. Knowledge of the ages. That's useful. And I think I'm about to shit myself. Okay, 
Okay, this area is explored. There's an area over there I want to do. And then after that though, I want to see where this um, ancient city is on the surface. And then based on that, I can might recommend it for a person's base in the future. Redstone. The real reason I've been doing any of this. There's not going to be anything there. There probably is over there. I assume there's a little, little chest in that area, though. So let's check that. How many streakers? Three. I don't actually. Oh, there is a chest. Not that worth it. We'll just leave it. Okay, we had a close call with the warden there. Well, but now he's gone, I might be able to actually check some of those areas. Cause yeah, this is just all streakers with no He's still fucking there. I'm just gonna go this way, alright? Explored that stuff already. There's literally like a chest left and we are good to go, but there's a warden also sitting on it. So how am I supposed to deal with this? It's like right there. I just want to like see inside because if I can see like oh that is where the chest is I can just swoop in real quick grab it and leave yeah we're doing this stuff in this area. I actually don't. I don't really know a lot of the um, ancient city just structures. It's kind of hard to say. Grab the enchanted golden apples. Uh, that's all. Efficiency 4 and Unbreaking 4 is really good, so that actually I do want to take. Alright, what 
what you got for me. Ooh, the ocean cave tablets. I do want some of these. Uh, you can go in there. Eh, so can you. I think I already have a smoking table. I might not. Eh, I can just ask to use someone else's. Although I think this means we're done. Alright, that means then we can find out where we want to exit out of this, so that we can label this as a possible just cool location, and we're good. Alright, just need to find a way to the center. I think that'd be a good location to pop out of. Yep, there it is. scaffolding or anything on me. So... Do I just leave? Where is the center? Well, I can't fucking see now. Appreciate that, King, but that's not what I'm looking for. Let's have some bread. Bread! Oh, hello, sir. Looks like this is the centerpiece, so. I don't think I have any materials I can use to make. I think I could try and make some ladders, but it's not gonna go well. I think we're just gonna have to pillar out. We have torches now, though, so at least there's that. I guess. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to uh, basically do this, maybe put some water at the bottom and just break it otherwise. Because I don't think we really need a proper, we don't need a proper way up because we have the grappling hooks, but we do need a proper way down as a possibility. this. I should be using this one. This is way faster. There we go. See? We're good. Now, where actually are we? 20? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're gonna be going home, rich men, though. Oh, it's delightful. this though I don't really know what we need to do today because I mean I mean we have the deep slate now so we can actually work on a decent amount of work that we need to do for the actual um 
whatever the hell. Ah, bamboo farm, that's what's called. <laughs> like, what, am I, what was I doing? What was I doing before all this? <laughs> before I got so severely distracted in the ancient city, what was I doing? Yeah, we need to work on the bamboo farm. I would at least like to get the platform in. If we can get the, um... Yeah, if we can actually get, like, the... Oh, we're out of... Torches. Yeah, if we can actually get the, um... The minecart tracks in, that'd be great. Because at the end of the day, mostly what this is going to be for is just smelting. Like, this entire bamboo farm that we have, the huge project that it is, is exclusively for smelting ores. Literally nothing else. I hope that's a service at least, but like, goddamn. Nice, okay. Let's just break all the way down, put some water at the bottom. Do we have water? No. I think that actually would kill us, so let's... Don't need the three dirt. Fuck off. Going. Where'd my hole go? There it is. Hello. Alright, we can dig ourselves all the way back down to the bottom, put some water at the bottom so that people, if someone does, you're like, you know what, I'm going down there. They don't just die. Because it could happen. Welcome back, welcome back. Mmm, armor drawing is always kind of rough. I love doing armor studies, though. I need to do more of them. a really fun thing to draw. There's a couple artists that I, I love the way they do armor. It's so cool. But something that I really appreciate in a lot of artists that I that I follow is specifically like artists that kind of go out of the way to it's a specific sketching style that I love. Where they are specifically sketching not the they're sketching to basically invoke detail, but not actually draw detail. And very painterly methods, gorgeous. I I talk about them in my Discord server. Decent amount. I, I share them a decent amount. Yeah. All right. Ancient city fully explored. We can leave. Good location though. Where are we? Is anyone near here? Don't 
doesn't look it. Okay. Oh, I gotta actually kill him. Because he would cause problems otherwise. Okay, um, that's just... Trying to simplify details in your own style. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, from here alone, there's not actually a lot of features of things. Like, I know my base, my, like, industrial zone, I think is just over there. But on its own, this is a pretty okay location. It's pretty cool. I think my axe is over there. Anyway, let's kill him, man. Cool boots. Oh, I meant to take a picture so I can see the coordinates of that location. Oh, it's an elephant. Like, what the hell is that? You don't need to make that sound effect. He's right there. Expect my stuff is over here. I don't really know. I'm be real. Not a guru. That man's possessed. Just gonna leave it alone. What is that? I think it's a tree. Kind of hard to tell from here. Okay, yeah, it's trees. I'm be real, I don't know where I am. This might be a go home type of situation. So, uh, negative Z, negative X. We should actually go that way. Negative X, ideally. So that, nope, that's positive X. Negative X, that way, okay. Bro, what the fuck? Hoomst? Alright. I am considering doing a little bit of art at the end of today's stream. Just to I gotta work on stuff. Could be a good idea. Ah, oh, no one's actually been here. Cool. Yeah, extra gems are just very useful. Oh, this one will explode. I don't need the corn flower. Thank you! Okay, how do I get home from here? I need to go to negative X. It's that way. Do I have... Yes, I have one button left. Fantastic. Alright, let's go.
more things to salvage. All right. Luckily, so now that I know what stuffed does, because Landromer actually told me I I have been playing with it, the with just without the knowledge, which is kind of funny. Let's be honest. But um, yeah, so we kind of just like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? But yeah, at this point though, I'm very much along lines of just using that to make sure I can just go great distances. Because as long as I have that status effect, sprinting won't cause me to lose saturation, which is very nice. What is that? Oh, it's a mystical flower. Don't worry about it. Jesus. Well, sorry. Oh, never mind. I was going to say sorry, but we went to heaven. I guess we've ascended. Oh, wow. There's land in heaven. <laughs> ah, it's one of some of those floating islands. Very cool. I think that means we're getting close, at least, to the point where I can use my atlas again. Yeah, all right. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, I need to get myself some more maps. Nearly home. Yeah, might as well fill that one in. While we're out here, you know, might as well fill in the maps. bullshit and a lot to salvage all right echo stars music disc enchanted books shrieker things urns uh torches i can keep let's put away the soul torches though name tags the diamond hogan put away elsewhere Probably should, probably should put that elsewhere. Get some sticky pistons. Alright, start with the cobblestone stone. I don't actually have a specific area for deep slate, so we're just gonna pop that in here. Deep slate ores that I don't really have. Backpack. Uh. Stone, stone. Yep, 
We are gonna just need to process more glass in the future as well, so it might be good to just leave the glass in here. Or the sand, rather. Sandstone can go in there. We're not able to store any more um, of the stone. It's not. Alright. Stone goes into this one. That's not what that is. Coal into here. Gold nuggets in there. Empty this bad boy out. You get the smithing templates, the cave tablet, enchanted golden apples. We're not supposed to go in there, but oh well, we're too late for that. Yeah, grab the cobbled deep slate that we have. Just throw that away. That's a hoe. That's what the template could say. Well, Chanticle and Apple Ball. And Chanticle and Apple goes there. We have a shit ton of gems. So, cracked. These are mostly diamond. I will actually keep most of them. No chest pieces. Oh wait, there is one. I will actually keep the trident just because uh, they're rare. Probably should keep at least one of the wrenches too. The rest? Bonk. things to just do shit to. Where do you have the last... Jesus. I've not seen one of them. Yeah, we'll keep the whip just so we don't have any others. Those can get salvaged. Yeah, that gets salvaged. Well, it's a diamond pick. Let's just keep it. Alright, the rest... I don't think there's any more salvaging to do, so let's store away our extra tools that we have now. Actually, we need this hat real quick. Backpack full of copper and other things. Uh, we need to put more storage in here, I think. For now, though, just bonk. Oh, can we get Swift Sneak on my pants? Take my pants off. Ah, shit, I died, so I can't actually do it. We're nearly there, though. Let us see. Yep, we're good now.
All right, at least those are primed. They I mean, most of them are. Uh, store the dirt. Do I have any more dirt on me? I do. Uh, charcoal's just good to have. Swift Snake! Now I can- Yes! <laughs> I love Swift Snake. It's one of my favorite enchantments. Alright, next is the ores. Skulk stuff can easily be stored as well. So now that works. The copper and the iron go in here. The silver diamond go in there. The coal lapis go in there. And the redstone goes in there. That is okay as is. This just has a bunch of bullshit in it. Speaking of... So, I I realized that there's a way easier way to actually destroy the, um, what's that called? Ocean Monument than we were going to do. Because the issue, the main issue is that it's really hard to mine underwater, sure. But also it's hard to, like, deal with any underwater stuff when there's guardians around. There is a way to just deal with the guardians. We just have to make some magnum torches. And that, like, solves all of our problems. Huh. How do you make magnum torches again? Each one requires four diamonds. Okay. Honestly, 12 is a good number. Let's do that. It does mean we are close to out of diamonds, but at least we have the diamond ore to make up for it. Yeah, I want to reserve four for the industrial district. Probably two more for this base. Just to make it a little safer, you know? It doesn't need much, just a little bit. Probably just one on each end. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And we can use the others, though, to stop guardians from spawning, which is a huge deal. Uh, the fire charges can go in redstone. And while we're here as well, I still do need that other lectern. And so I do need books. And I need another book and quill. Book and quill? Uh, name it 1 through, well, not name it, fill it with numbers 1 through 15. Cheese sprayer. I don't care. Okay, um, well, I need to do that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
14. There's no reason to sign it, it just needs 15 pages. So I have that. Uh, let's grab like all of the deep slate we got. We can work on that. We'll probably come back for any sort of, um, hello? Why is he so tough? All right, fine, be that way. You're free, little bee. Enjoy. Live here, I guess. Yeah, I'll make you a house real quick. That's easy. That's a horse. Oh, dark oak beehive. That's kind of cool, actually. You know, they had varieties in this pack. There's a lot of flowers around here. You're gonna get caught a lot of things, though. Here you go. You have a place to live now. You're welcome to use it. Okay. Anyway, let's put some stuff away. Um, we got the deep slate, we got the magnet torches. I guess there's a bee here now. Cat. Oh, he's right there. Okay, that we can deal with. These kind of mobs are much more important to kill just because their rarity is higher, so it's much more relevant. There we go. Let's see what you got. Oh, I don't have inventory space. I don't need the hats. Don't need the raw flesh. Mage breaker. Execution to enemies below 6% health. Ignores durability. It has capturing actually, which is very nice. Got anything cool? No. Honestly, this having captured might be good right now. If I can get a magma cube spawn egg, we can have the possibility of starting to make some, um... Alright, fuck off. Anyway, as I was saying, if we can get a magma cube spawn egg, that'd be really nice, because then we have the chance to start making a, um... Uh, frog lights? Frog light farm really easily. Oh god damn you! All right, fine, fine. Fuck off! Oh my god, you're still angry. I killed your friends. But get over it. <laughs> Closer. If I can get capturing on one of the magma cubes, that would be really good.
I don't see any other currently spawned, but we'll check. shield. This is a nice axe. And I don't see any other magma cubes, so we don't have to worry about it. Ishmael the eagle. Uh, I'm good, but thanks. Ah, very nice. Okay, it's like 300 block. So the actual, like, whatever the fuck. Don't know what that's called. Ancient City is only like, uh, I would say about 300, 350 blocks away, so that's not that's not bad. It's not so close that's annoying. So someone could easily live there and not have to deal with too much. With too much being me. Okay, I have the lectern installed here on page two of fifteen. Uh, subtract mode for the the input one. Okay. Easy. All right. So yeah, we will be done with the um, the super smelter is now done. The main issue now is the fact that we don't have a fuel source for it. So that is the that's like next steps. Do want to do? Oops. Well. Oh well. Okay. From the corner, let's do. A, who knows? Not, yeah. F three G. So not this chunk. Not. See. Let's do the inner part of the second chunk. That is probably a good amount enough to like cover almost the entire thing. I actually, I wish I knew the actual um, safe radius of these, but I really don't. So I'll put like one in the center as well. Yeah, we've been having trouble with just enemies in this area because they, like the creeper that blew up the bamboo farm, for example, annoying. But I think it could be a good idea to build the collection system first, then the harvest system, because because they will be hand in hand. Don't get me wrong, but you kind of need. I want the the collection system in, system in place first, so that way I can make sure that when I build the no. Yeah, when I build the harvest system after, we have that ability to just directly wire it in. It should be really easy. To be honest, the biggest thing is just going to be placing all these blocks. I 
I do think the easiest position to do this from though is probably like directly on the actual structure. Because we can't fly like we could previously, it probably is easiest to actually do it from here. Like it's way easier from this position. We can, we can get that by just entering crawl mode. We just need to get a trapdoor, which is easy. I, I mean, there's literally wood here. We can do it from here. It's fine. I don't know what it is about using Deep Slate for building stuff like this. I just think it looks really nice. I mean, I definitely used to do all of my redstone on stone bricks, but these days I do it all on Deep Slate. And I've also been considering, because in a lot of like sections of the Minecraft world, it's getting surprisingly easy to get a lot of copper. So I think it could be fun to like put all redstone wiring on copper blocks. That just seems like a good time. Yeah, we might do a little bit of art after this though. And again, we do have to, we do have to just put in the work and actually finish this. So the main thing right now that's holding us back is just our materials. So I'm going to need a shit ton of deep slate to finish this, so I probably should get as far as I can with the deep slate I have, and if I can finish this project, I will. But if not, I'm just going to have to do more AF, not, not AFK, but I need to go and just do more just deep slate gathering, which is going to be super boring anyway, so I might as well just do art instead. So, we'll see. It very much depends on how far uh, the amount of materials we got will go, which honestly I don't think is going to finish us. Just completely, completely real, I don't think we have enough. So we have backup at least. This, this thing's actually pretty fucking huge, though. Which is why I'm saying I don't think we have enough materials. We might have enough gold, I think, to make the power rails for this, though. I'm not certain about that one. I'm gonna be real. We should. Like, we should. I do have a decent amount. It's it's most of it's just unprocessed though. It's kind of that situation again where it's like we need a fast way to process resources, which is why we built the super smelter. But we we really just don't have. We need speed more than efficiency right now. That is the issue. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna have enough. Oh god. <laughs> Whatever. Oh well. Once again, we'll get as far as we can, then we'll work on the current art piece I'm doing. 
which you'll never guess, is another boss from Fight Night. <laughs> I'm currently working on a King Casket art piece that I'm really liking. It has a little bit of goofiness to it though currently that I want to kind of like get rid of. So I need to like kind of like fiddle with it. I'm also actually recording this as a time lapse this time. Once I'm done with all of the Fight Night pictures though, I am thinking I'm probably going to try and assemble them all into one cool banner that has all the bosses. But, but I'm not sure who I'm going to do for the bosses of the hot and cold area. Because it's not either of the actual people you're go you're like talking with the entire time. It very much is just Rivali. So I don't, but I also don't want to draw him because of spoilers for Fight Night. But uh, Prince of the Tower, <laughs> I definitely want to do that one. I really want to do some that one because I think it could be so cool. Super shiny armor as well. I think it'd be really good. Yeah, once I'm done with King Casket, though, I definitely need to do... Yeah, once I'm done with King Casket, I need to actually get to doing the Skeletor. I think that's going to be the next one I do. I, just, I have an interesting pose in mind, I just don't know how to do it yet, so I need to actually, like, sketch it out. Well, I need to make the reference myself. That's what I need to do. Let's get rid of the bones. I think it could be cool though. Once I have all my farms in place, it could be really fun to decorate this area. I'm kind of thinking like, like grungy urban would be really cool because I've never really worked in that before but I see a lot of people building it. I really should have just entered crawl mode though, because that would have been way e easier way to do this. Oh god, we have so much stuff. Do I need villagers here? Um, I mean, there is two of them. At the very least, we should probably at least save them as a just in case. All right, you get in here. There should be another one coming. Sorry, what the fuck is this name? Okay. You're a husk. I'm looking for the other... Ah, there you are. Fantastic. Honestly, perfect timing. Yeah. Those guys are probably good to just have.
Will we need them? Probably not, but at least we have them in the off chance that we do. Because there isn't really a big villager uh, trading hall area. There's a small one, which is useful, don't get me wrong, but it's not really at the scale that is useful for me. Like a good example is I need, I probably am gonna need just a ton of redstone. And the best way for me to get it, if someone doesn't build a shop, is gonna be along the lines of villagers. Because I don't really, the issue is with that though, like then you don't have, hmm. It's very manual is the issue. If I had a pillager farm, that would be really good. Yeah, anyway though. We are out of materials. We've done our best today. We, we're just gonna have to go, go and actually just get more stuff. Now we can kill a man first though. Nice, salvaging stuff. It's coming along really well though. The actual bamboo farm is pretty much done. I mean, we have, to, we have a little more bamboo to plant, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's not that relevant. Got a little more bamboo to plant, that's easy. The actual like flying machine should be relatively easy to put in too. But literally all this is all of that is just so that way I can smell things. We'll make it an actual like overflow effectively so that way if if we have the if we have enough materials that we're fine with an overflow, then I'm like, you know what? I don't think I don't think we have to worry about uh I don't think we have to worry about having all of these things filled. But like, let's just take a think about it real quick. To fill this entire setup up, it requires 64 times. I'm not doing that math. Sixty-four times sixty-four times six. Yeah, it's gonna take over twenty-four thousand bamboo. It's gonna take over twenty-four point five thousand bamboo just to fill up this thing. Like it'll do it to the best of its ability, don't get me wrong, but we're gonna need to leave the bamboo farm running for a while before we can even use this machine. Which is why this bamboo farm is so huge. But yeah, without the actual deep slate though to finish this project, I do wanna actually do that off stream. It takes time, it takes effort, but it's also just so boring to watch. It should be, yeah. We can take a sleep here. Actually, we don't have Phantom Hot, okay. Never mind. Potato. You know, I'm actually gonna take the string. Yeah, I'll take some phantom hides though, because like also it's very useful. Anything cool? Nope. Is this like a pillager spawning area? Because if so, that's really good for us. We could actually make that pillager farm I was talking about. I've never actually made one myself, and like we might as well make one 
this season, because we're not going to be able to do next season. Weird. I'll take your comparator. And one of the cooler things here, though, is this this right here, because this is a buddy amethyst block. Those, those you can't move. Yeah, this is a big project though. I do intend on shortening the max height of the bamboo though by about eight blocks. I don't think we need to make the walls any higher because it's kind of excessive just anyway. We're going to be getting a shit ton of bamboo. We'll be fine. My backpack's on, right? Yeah. Making sure. The extra XP is just nice. I also do need to finish designing this thing. I... I've got the base idea of how to create the um, cobblestone. I just need to get from here. How do I make sure that the lot, not the lot, the TNT is exploding at the right time, right place? That's very much, I'm not testing that on the server because I'll just lose everything. And that's a creative mode testing world type of situation. Shut up. But yeah, I think we did a decent amount of work today. Let's update the map, make sure everything's good. We should really get some maps for this area for the Atlas too. Very nice. Yeah, you still see the fucking hole where the creeper exploded. God damn it. I need to fix that, I need to fix that. And there's like one little hole there as well. That that little hole is gonna actually really piss me off. So let's actually fix that one real quick. So yeah, you know what? We'll fix the bamboo before we swap to art. There we go. We could also do a quick test once this is done of uh, the bamboo loading. It should just work, let's be honest, but you never know, honestly. I also tend to just mess things up sometimes when building these things because I'm... I have the idea that if I'm building a machine in Minecraft, I would much rather not look up how to do it myself. I would, I'd much rather not look it up how to look up how to do it. I want to do it myself. So, one, one. So, yeah, um, kind of one of the ways this works as well. It's supposed to just distribute one uh, bamboo along every single one of these. Refill up and do the same thing. It only picks up a little over a stack, which, and this has a little over, this has I believe 69 furnaces. I think I chose that for the funny number. Like, let's check over here, for example. Um, there is four. Okay. The last four did not get any bamboo, so it is currently picking up 65 bamboo every time, sending it down the line, which is perfectly fine. That is perfectly as we expect. Honestly, I could adjust that to be a little higher, 
But that one right there, this is the one that actually supplies the items to be smelted. That one has to do that, that amount. Ideally, that just loads the 65, fills those up, and moves on. I think it'd be okay if this is a little higher on this side, though. Okay, it, I, this thing's gonna produce so much bamboo, that was gonna be honestly insane. I do need to possibly find another iron vein, though. Because we don't have a good source of iron, we very much have been kind of riding off what we currently have. So once that runs out, we might be a little screwed. Yeah, might as well start filling these up though, you know? Get a little bit of a head start. Okay, it gets 64 plus 21. Which is what? 85? That's not bad. And once again, this is just to provide fuel. It won't fill up any fuel more than it already has. Then more than it can hold. So it's perfectly fine to overload that that specific minecart. The like perfectly ideal amount would be to have 65 uh, furnaces. But I'm trying to future-proof as a just-in-case-something-breaks type of situation. Because there is the off chance that, due to some server hiccup, that too many items end up trying to be smelted at once or something like that. And therefore, the bamboo can't keep up. And then, then we end up just wasting bamboo on like one of the slots and it just breaks. So, that's why it's important as well to preload the machine with bamboo before you have any items go into smelt, be smelted. And why we're going to have a pretty significant uh, backlog, ideally, of bamboo before we even run the machine. Like, this double chest is going to be nowhere near enough, but at least we have the beginnings of some fuel in this thing. Like, theoretically, we could smelt a stack of something right now. I mean, let's test it. It should be fully viable to at least smelt a stack of um, sand. Oh, we don't... We don't have... Ah, whatever, it'll be fine. So yeah, slap in a sack of sand. Oh, that is so cool. This is one of my favorite parts. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Didn't it went didn't go as far. Alright, let's actually check that. Okay, yeah, it's some uh, sand is, I mean, glass is just spitting out everywhere because we, we don't have the collection system fully set up. That's fine though. Let me... It left three behind. That... Also kind of weird. I actually am not sure why I did that. Well, let's see if we got the 61. Yeah, like, you saw it just... What the, that's 36. Okay, 
It's very possible I got caught on the edges just because of how these work. Because I haven't, once again, this isn't actually done. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and it fell behind as well. This needs to be a closed system. I just don't have it at that point yet. Because once again, don't actually have that much deep slate. <laughs> it was weird though that the machine, that the actual like. Why did the minecart only drop off 61? Maybe I just wasn't close enough to the center of this thing. That's very possible. Because it only simulates a certain distance. Ideally though, I'll be like right there, which should simulate all of it. Let's try this again. Let's say I want to smelt, smelt a stack of sand. But like this will be the hub area. It's not even a chunk border. Huh. Weird. Okay, as it stands as well, there's a little bit of item loss just because we have not finished this. So that's not really a worry at all. I, I'm going to have to fix it a little later. Did it leave behind three again? That is much more what I'm looking for. Let's find six this time. Well, what you can see though is the insane speed in which that this thing actually smelts items though. So the actual ideal for these kind of things, you really don't want these machines to be across that many chunks. The fact that it is this spread out might be an issue. If so, I might have to just move the super smelter, which I'm going to be honest, massive pain in the ass. But it does mean that I could put it like relatively central instead. Because there's going to be a central hub by which you actually like input items and things, request items, do all that shit. So I'm going to have that in the center. For now though, this honestly works really well. I'm quite happy with that. It's also just quite usable. I'm gonna need to get some packed ice. So I can actually have these, uh, the water stream actually work. I need, I do need it to be uh, functional. <laughs> preferably, you know, just uh, preferably I'd like this to function. Yeah, very cool though, very cool. All right. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, actually being AFK right now, I don't really have any good AFK farms. So this is probably just a log off for now and do some work for now. Yeah, just log off. Oh, God. What time is it? 12.30? gives us like an hour and a bit to actually do some art. That'd be good. All right, let's close out of this. Yeah, this is what I'm currently working on otherwise. It's a bit wonky still. I do need to just kind of refine a lot of it. It's still in the very early stages effectively. But like, I'm not sure I like how this snake tail is coming around here. I think it'd be better just kind of have it wrap around this way. 
as so I'm probably gonna get rid of that. That means I'll also get a little bit more thigh, so. You, you lose some, you gain some, you know? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. You just raided into me right when I took a fucking drink. How dare you. How is Lethal Company? How is Lethal Company? I think I actually changed my category now. Choke boy. Nah, man. I, I got the... I got that, you know... So broken. Maul's fucked up so bad. Jesus. Yeah, this is what I'm currently working on though now. I managed to finish the super smelter pretty much. I need to get some... What is that? I do need to get some actual ice to get to finish the water, the water stream. I It does seem like there might be some minor issues of it just being spread out across too many chunks currently. So I do need to fix that. So I'm probably gonna end up just tearing the whole thing down and rebuilding it. But I do want to like build a central area, I think, first. So that could be a good thing. Ship never landed at one point, one time I'll just die for no reason. Ah, oh, delightful, love that. I am not on the wrong screen, I am just updating things. Cause I'm gonna be working on this now, cause I'm kinda, I effectively, I did as much as I could today on the web SMB because I do need, pretty much my next steps are all just grinding for resources again. But, like I said, although the super smelter is going to have to be torn down and rebuilt, it's fully functional as is. It just technically, it, lo it loses a little bit of items at some point. So I just had to do some adjustments overall. Mostly in security things, but it's fine. But the main thing that I have noticed is like, all right, I need to grab some things. I'm also thinking it could be a really funny way to harvest the materials. So, cause it's currently set up to just dump all of the items into a water stream and send them one point. Although that's funny and like useful, I think it could be hilarious to make it a whirlpool instead. Okay, anyway, I need to work on this boy. This is King Casket Fight Night. Another, another guy, another dude. Ugh, all right. I need to, I need to do some adjustments though. I'm gonna get rid of this snake section. Bring back some thigh to this area. Oh, by the way, Shrine, did you see that uh, Blue Sky now has the ability where you can actually post videos finally? Very exciting, honestly. I was able to actually post my, um, what was that? Cowboy Malafar art piece. I'm like, hey guys, look, this is the one that got me shadow banned for TikTok. <laughs> Honestly, still one of the funnier things that's happened. Sorry guys, I got a little too horny with the cowboy. It happens. You, you know how it is. <laughs>
still kind of figuring out the uh, gooch area. Still figuring it out. Let's definitely just adjust the face a little bit. Like thinner would be better. Like just a little. So today is very much just going to be this though, which I think is a good thing. Just trying to get some stuff done. So very much figuring out this piece though, as I was saying. I've got ideas of how I want it to develop, but I'm not fully there yet. I'm very much along the lines of figuring it out. Say no. Say no to the nails. Thank you. 
value to an art piece. Very simple now. Not too much needs to be done. Well, there is a lot that needs to be done, but like, very much along the lines of tried. To, we're still in very much the sketching process. This one's gonna probably take longer than the others. Too much. Oh, Jesus. We good, we good. Thank you. 
let me actually pull up the references again. Because cobras typically, in general, have, like, lighter underbellies. Show me image of a cobra. Thank you. Eh, it's kind of a mix, kind of a mix. Let's pull up, like, the different... Her. Oh, yes, I remember now. I'm trying to find, you know, the guy, the dude. Yeah, I'm part of a Discord that just has all the references for Fight Night, which is very useful. Nice that the image sprites weren't like fucking tiny though. I will make it a little lighter for the underbelly part. I do like this idea of the ri of the rakes. The snakes just kind of like wrapping around. Cobras typically have yeah, it's kind of a mix, it's kind of a mix. So it's not it's not it's not there's not one answer. Jesus, that was that was stutter and a half. What the hell? on me. I swear to God. I only have one time lapse open. Don't worry about it. I do like the idea of using pure white for the eyes. I think it just makes them all pop so much more.
don't hurt the cat outside. I'm just concerned. What if he's trying? What if he's coming for me? Oh, wrong button. That was not the undo button. Should he have thumbs? I think that's a good question. I I would say the answer to be no. Cause like I these look kinda like gauntlets. It's kinda hard to say. But they do look kind of gauntlet-esque. I would personally say no. Definitely coming along, definitely coming along. Wow. 
do like this darker color for the actual hands though. But if they're also this, the golem material, I probably should lighten them at least a bit. I can add shadow back to them later. I need to figure out how it is I'm going to texture the snakes. So this clipping layer can actually just be attached now. At this stage, we don't have a use for the clipping layer. I usually like to, at least these days, I really like it when I have the base silhouette, I have a clipping layer above, and I do everything on there, and then I just merge them. Because I usually have no need for the actual clipping abilities later on, especially when I'm doing minor adjustments like this.
Also, I've been a bit quiet lately, just on streams, I feel like. Not really sure as to why. Just feel like it has happened recently. Hmm. It's odd. It very much is along the lines of kind of like... I think I'm mostly just trying to focus on what I'm doing. Which is fine, don't get me wrong, it's not like inherently a bad thing. It's more along the lines of like, I feel I should definitely be trying to like... How do you say? I should be trying to like, communicate with the people in chat, obviously, blah blah blah, make it entertaining, things like that. But at the same time, it's kind of like... As long as I'm enjoying it, it doesn't really matter. I had a reference for this. Where? Hold on. Let me get this reference up. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Where is it? I have a loss of just saved in my photos on my phone, I'm going to be honest. Like, a lot of stuff. I'm going to have to add some nice metallic aspects to this too, that's kind of a later one. Hello? Oh. Normal things, saving a time lapse, this happens. Again, oddly, like actually powering down the tablet doesn't actually do anything. It's if you unplug it, then it has the issues. But like, if you just like turn it off, it's usually just kind of fine. Why? Who fucking knows? I think I do want to just kind of darken up the snakes a bit. That's wrong there.
Not significantly so or anything, just a bit. I think they should have the accent point still with like the eyes and some bits around scales. But I think most of it should definitely just be as is. This one actually doesn't have eyes, I didn't, uh, like on its uh, hood. It's only that one that does. Because there's four different types of actual like snakesy summons. One with both eyes open and has the eyes on the hood. One with both eyes open with like fangs on the hood. One with one eye open and is bandaged the other half. And like, the last one is fully bandaged up. Could I actually clean up some of these sketch lines? These sketch lines are nice to add like little bits of texture here and there, but I I don't like having them everywhere. message from my friend. So yeah, me and my friend, my birthday was a little earlier this week, his is in two weeks, but we're kind of just sharing our birthdays because his, well, mine was on a Tuesday, and his, in comparison, is on the same day as our friend's wedding. So today, after a stream, like later on in the day, is gonna be very much, we, we rent a room at a local game store and we're gonna be playing playing games there, as well as we're going to be um, just celebrating our birthdays together then. It's going to be fun. They have like full full setup though. It's really nice. You can order food there as well. Drinks with people that want it. I'm considering picking up the game Root today as well. I, it's a game I've been looking at for a while that I honestly really want to pick up. It's a super fun looking game. It's an asymmetrical strategy game based around like woodland creatures. 
and kind of like their rule of the forest. It's also really fun looking. Another game I'm currently looking at is this game called Unearth. It's an interesting one. I'm not really sure how to describe that one. It's kind of like you are a civilization trying to uncover your, the ancient civilization that came before you. And like just develop. It's also a really cool one. I need to look at how to do metal renders again. It's been a while since I've done it. Don't know where that line came from. Clean that up. This isn't correct. We need to actually line up these bandages again. The leg isn't properly like aligned. Oop, too much. I very much approximated the anatomy for this piece. Also, technically the guy isn't supposed to have legs, but also whatever. I do what I want. Something I did realize recently, just because someone mentioned it at TikTok, was, so, long time, I hated, I hated doing line work. Because line work always made it feel like my art pieces had no soul to them. 
and because there was no depth. There's absolutely no fucking depth when I was doing line work. Because there was no line weight effectively being added to anything. Especially when I was really early on trying to do inked art. It took me way longer than I'd care to admit to say uh, how long it took me to realize that. So we're not going to get to that part, but just know. Get, use some line weight every now and then. Pull some focus sometimes. It's gonna need some work still. Fuck, I'm on the wrong layer. That's why this isn't working. Okay, it's just that section. We're good. Why well, is this not doing anything? Well, you see, you see, you're, uh, fuck it up, that's why. liking the whip though, it's coming along quite well. really make a save redeem honestly because that is probably something that actually do me really well because I really don't save very often <laughs> I, I really should be saving more I definitely fixed some of the issues that I has was having. Big one. Don't like that. Whatever the fuck's happening there, I don't like that. Yeah, I had some like bigger issues that I wasn't a fan of, anatomy-wise and just pose-wise. And getting rid of the snake draping over his leg, I think honestly really helped that.
when I started this piece, I very much... So, something I was doing for a couple of these pieces, I did it for the uh, Butcher one as well, but the way I started this art piece very much was I did my sketch, got myself the basic uh, silhouette, and then I just used an airbrush, effectively, over it to get the vague, very vague uh, look to it done. And it also worked really well. I think we need to actually like lighten up some of these wrappings though. It's also nearing 1.30, which is usually close to when I end off for the day. So we probably should start at least considering that. I need to make sure this is readable as his arm next. His key should be lighter than the snakes at the very least. Oh, too much. Still too much, Jesus. Definitely coming along. I'd say it's probably good for us, good place for us to stop today. I have a little more detail work to do and lighting stuff, but oh, oh, big stretch. Whew. Is anyone live at the moment? Who was? Say hi to Drake Magic moment. Oh. 
all right. Close out of that. Close out of that. Yeah, it's been a fun one. It's been a fun one. Hope you guys enjoy as much as I did. I gotta go. I have to do some preparation things before I can actually do uh, anything. So, next time I'll be seeing you is going to be... Don't know. Monday. So, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys Monday, though. I will be probably back... Probably, well, I might finish this this weekend and then start the next one on Monday. But very much Monday is going to be trying to do animation. So we're going to definitely uh, see how that goes. All right, all right, all right. This has been a lot of fun, though. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Monday, we're going to try animation. Wednesday... Honestly, no clue, because the animation is like the last thing we need to work on. But yeah, I'll be seeing you guys around, though. Have fun, have fun, and see you then. Bye!